What? What? Speak up. What? What? I'm sorry. Go what? Do what? Do what now? What? 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 I can't, I can't hear them. They're too quiet. What are they saying? I can't hear it. What? Wait till you see my well kicked. <laughs> Wait, do you see my tricks? Like magic tricks? What are they saying? I can't hear it. Oh no, Bow Wow. Oh. Something about animal abuse? Oh no. Oh my god. This ringtone rap playlist is the best. I feel like I'm going back in time to middle school and this time I have a razor phone. I have I have Vans. I have Abercrombie and Fitch head to toe, except for my toes because I have Vans on. And I'm the most popular girl in school. And this is my ringtone. And everyone, my, I always hear this ringtone because everyone's blowing up my phone. Everyone calls me out all hours of the day. And I got my driver's license as soon as I turned 15 and I, I show up, I roll up to ninth grade like, what's up? I <laughs> got my pants on, but they look like sneakers. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's find some cozy video game music to listen to. Why is every cozy video game mix always like... It's always Nintendo music, and I don't really want to listen to Nintendo music. No offense. It just makes me want to reg regress mentally. It makes me want to go like baby mode, and I, I can't go baby mode today. I have to be alert, I have to be with it, I have to be focused. I have to be locked in. Cozy tavern, JRPG, relaxing JRPG music. Cozy RPG town music would be nice. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Autumn in Elven City. I'd like to go to Alvin City this autumn. Oh, here's one. Video game music, cozy RPG towns. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, this will be nice. Wipe me down. This is a, what a dog sings when it comes in from when it's waning outside and it gets really muddy and wet and smells like a wet dog. Wipe me down. Let me down. Okay, okay, okay. Minecraft music is cozy, but it makes me depressed. Like, there's just something about it that just kind of... You ever read the comment section of Minecraft OST? All the comments are like, Huh, I remember 10 years ago playing on the Minecraft server with all my, my family. And then they got in a car accident the, the very next summer. I went back to this map last night while listening to Minecraft music. Just kind of felt nostalgic. And then I saw the, the house that my little brother built. The house that he, he spent so long on. He wanted to show me it so bad. And I was like, no, no, I'm busy. I'm busy making my redstone automation farm. But then he died in that car accident. And he never got to show me it. Well, little bro, I'm looking at it right now, and you did a great job. If only I could do a better job as your older brother. Mm. 
Minecraft music just makes me feel like literally everyone I know and love is dead and I'm just like like in the in the movies where it's like a dad sitting in his den in front of like a projector watching old home movies beer in hand just like staring off into the distance yeah it's kind of a liminal space feeling too some of it is <sighs> what if i was like a 40 year old dad in a coma living out my anime dreams that would be a good anime anyway e enough of that how are you guys doing today <laughs> Welcome to the stream, everybody. I'm quite peeved. I'm quite perturbed because the sun is already going down and it's only like 4 o'clock. It's been bothering me. I'm not even gonna lie. I think... I get like really fucked up by daylight savings time. Especially when my sleep schedule is not too great to begin with. Because I need to see the sun for at least like six hours a day i need to look out my window and see the sun shining and nowadays i only see it for about like two hours daylight saving sucks butt sucks big fucking nasty sweaty butt just wake up earlier then i've been trying to i've been trying to like go to bed before fucking 3 a.m but you know, when <laughs> people are dedicated to leveling World of Warcraft, I I don't want to get left behind, you know? I have to... I have to lock in. Or I'm gonna be... Bro, you know how MMOs go? If you get, like, way behind everyone else in level, you're on your own, bro. They're not gonna waste time, like, helping you do shit. Because they're blazing a trail themselves. They're trying to level up. They're not gonna level up helping you. I'm rejecting my humanity. I'm becoming the Sludge Lord. <sighs> but yeah. How 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 is your what is it Thursday Thursday afternoon? Why can't we just like I don't know. Why does daylight saving time even have to be a thing? We can just like tie a lasso to the sun and keep it there for a little longer, maybe. Like a, a titanium, like something that wouldn't be burnt by the sun. For the farmers? Every, why do we need farmers now? We just have robots to do all that shit. Oh, the farmers, the farmers, the farmers gotta wake up early. Oh, oh, they need more daylight. Oh, fuck farmers. I have a way more important job than farmers. Oh, oh, I harvest crops to put food on people's tables. Oh, oh, and I charge people money for it. Uh, uh, I stream myself watching YouTube videos and people in my chat type funny words at me and I say, haha, yeah, that's true. And sometimes I play video games and I inspire millions. You ain't growing shit. You know what I'm growing? I'm growing a community. I'm growing a community of healthy, responsible gamers. I'm growing... Uh, a spiritually... A spiritually focused group. I watched a documentary about cults last night and I fell asleep. I was like in and out during it. Like I fell asleep on the couch and kept waking up throughout it. I think it like inducted me into the cult like unconsciously while I was falling asleep. I'm spiritually focused on Gats. Well, you need to get your act together, get your head in the game, and focus on something more important. Like leveling in hardcore classic World of Warcraft or uh Downloading the demo for Zenless Zone Zero when it comes out. The open test thingy. At the end of November. Yeah, it's like 
Yeah, the Dexter episode where he learns French in his sleep. I'm gonna turn into a French cultist. Did you see the Boogie 298? Bro, I started watching that documentary yesterday. I only made it like 15 minutes in. I was full doomer mode yesterday because of daylight savings fucking me up. I was tired as hell, did not sleep well. I was sleepy as fuck and just like depressed. I couldn't take my Adderall because I need to have like one or two days a week where I don't take it. Because you're, you're supposed to do that because it's just like better for your, your body and your chemistry and stuff. So I was just like completely zoned out. Just so tired, so cold. So hungry for dopamine. I was just like laying in bed, curled up because our bed is comfy as fuck. Watching this depressing ass boogie documentary. <laughs> I got to the point where he's like showing off all the rubber duckies in his bath. Oh. Wait, would you guys want to watch that? Because. <laughs> it was depressing. Is it too depressing? No fucking way. Wait, is there TOS in it? Is it. Is it. Does it get even more depressing? Because I watched 15 minutes of it and it was. It was depressing, but it was still kind of funny. <laughs> Did you get to the interview? No, I don't think so. It goes off the rails. Wait, it gets really bad? Oh, no. Bro, I remember, like, back in the day, didn't he win an award? Like, he got brought up on stage and did, like, a really heartfelt speech. Back in, like, 2016, right? And, yeah, he was like a huge figure of the gaming community. Like an upstanding citizen. Everyone looked up to him. They called him like the Mr. Rogers of gaming. What happened? Is that gonna happen to me? Am I gonna be the next boogie? Like, is it like a curse that transfers from like YouTuber to YouTuber? Am I already... Am I already fucking... Oh, am I already descending into boogiedom? Has it already happened? Oh no, guys. I might go bankrupt. I had to spend so much money in Las Vegas. Oh no. My bank account is gonna be in the negatives. And that's why we're probably gonna do a lot of sponsored streams this month. Just uh, letting you guys know. I watched some of the Boogie documentary and I got a little paranoid about my own situation, so... Probably gonna have to do some more sponsored streams. I hope that's okay with you guys, but today... No, no ads today. No, no shillings today. We are just chilling. No shillings, just chilling. Today, I wanna watch some fucking YouTube videos. <laughs> Cause th th honestly, there is some that I wanted to check out, like the the WoW's dark darkest secret one. Everyone keeps telling me to watch that. And then I had some games that I wanted to check out. The, the school day is one, and I still have to play the new Fears to Fathom. I hope it was good. What was it called? The Fears to Fathom... Ironbark Lookout. Iron... <coughs> don't they force ads if you don't press the roll button? Yeah, I guess so. I, I'm gonna be honest. I've been streaming for a very long time. I've been a full-time stream streamer for about three years now. And I still don't really understand how ads on Twitch work. I've never really messed with it. I've never really changed like the ad schedule on my dashboard. I just don't touch it. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> so it's all it's all up in the air. It's all Twitch's doings. <laughs> play an ad right now for fun. Here, I'll play the ad that's like you can get a new tiger poster. This one. Okay, hold on. Let me switch. Yes. Let me switch. Let me switch my stream real quick. Fortnite, we about to get down. Ten kills on the board right now. Just wiped out Tomato Town. 
I'm a fat bitch. I'm a, I'm a fat bitch. How your child can visit steamy jungles, grassy plains, and the dark depths Sorry, of the I had to plan out. I had to plan out, everybody. Surprising facts about the magnificent animals that live there. We, we need to make more ad revenue this, this quarter. Of Zubooks, the publication Zubooks. is specially created for young readers. Each monthly issue oh of Zubooks is packed with breathtaking, full-color photos bad. and scientifically accurate illustrations, plus games and puzzles. Today, through this exclusive TV offer, you can get 12 Big fascinating cats, issues and Camels? With a special price of nineteen ninety five. When you call and use your credit card, we'll include the elephants issue as a <gasps> gift. Plus, you'll also get the colorful collection of animal stickers animal and the tiger stickers poster. And the tiger so poster. Order today and send learning and fun to a child you love. To order twelve fascinating editions. Okay, you guys, it's nineteen ninety five plus shipping and handling. When you Do you want me to call? Wait, what happens if I call this number? Do you think it's still like in use? Can you still get zoo books? Plus with the bonus elephant issue, stickers and tiger poster with your order. Bro, I used to beg my mom and dad to call this number. Must be 18 years older to call. I used to like get on my hands and knees and beg them. <gasps> this one is a fucking banger. And they never, they never called. I'm working for an hourly wage. I went to high school. Serve cons. Still, I gotta make more cash. More education is what. I took some free tests to find out my direction. I'm taking my classes online. She's taking them online. On my own time. She's getting it on her own time. Twenty one. The right college for free. Get connected. This is where you break down. This is the breakdown. Education connection. For free. Education connection. Oh my god, where's the full version of the song? Bro, this lady should come back. And just release an album of bangers just like this. Just like commercial jinger, jingle bangers. <laughs> jingle bangers. <laughs> Wait. 35 minutes of 2000s commercials? No! Do you remember the Muzzy commercials? I wanted to learn a new language from that so bad when Muzzy! I was a kid. Muzzy! Bro! Okay, let's watch that real quick. Muzzy... Muzzy commercial. I remember Muzzy. Mm. Yeah, when they're, they're like teaching French. Muzzy. Bonjour. Je suis le grand Muzzy. Je suis la jeune fille. Je suis yes, la French jeune fille. Yes, they're And no, these children aren't French. They're American. No! And they've acquired their amazing new language skills from Muzzy. The remarkable new video language program for children I don't know if I developed trust by the Muzzy. British Broadcasting Corporation. With this unique BBC language course, children learn. This is uncovering dark memories ease. within me. I think More this commercial actually scared me as a child. Show, like his otherworldly, like strange voice. He's like, Ooh, another language blah, 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 blah. You'll be amazed when your children begin speaking and understanding their new language from the very first day through this unique method. Muzzy now comes with four videos, two audios, a script book, parents' guide, a new exciting CD-ROM, plus this free bonus Why do they want Muzzy to teach children these things? I don't think we should be teaching children French. I think that's child abuse. Muzzy! Muzzy, Muzzy! Mmm! Wait, where is it? Here it is. What is this a commercial for? Need water? Yes. Capri Sun Roaring Water. <gasps> with a roaring Sun! flavor of fruit. Get your water in a pouch. What the fuck? Get your water in a pouch. Bro, what? Get your water in a Bro, what the fuck? What the fuck? Ouch. With a roaring flavor of fruit. Get your water in a pouch.
Now I understand where my water sports kink came from. Thanks, commercials. What the fuck was wrong with early 2000s commercials? Ouch. How did this make it past anything? How did this get approved? New uh, crush this is straight up pissing on him. I crush the alien. Well, I crush <laughs> the director. I crush the I crush my bus driver. I crush a Danimal's crush cup. Huh? Yeah. Wait, New is this Zack and Cody? Cups. You crush it and slurp it. Mmm. Mmm, cool. crush cup. No spoon? Nope. No spoon, just, just crush cup. Just, just crushing. Mmm, awesome. <laughs> I crush my cock and balls. I crush a Danimal's crush cup. New Danimal's crush <laughs> cup. Danimal's, get your blast on. Bro, early 2000s like computer animation was so uncanny. My kid cuisine all star chicken nuggets meal made with white meat for a taste that can't be beat. And my kid mac cuisine. and cheese is out of here. Meal time is fun time with kid cuisine. My mom never even had Nerf. kid cuisine. <gasps> from Nerf. Nerf. The N Strike Recon CS6, the blaster you can customize for any mission. For night missions, equip the red spy light to spot hidden targets. For multi target missions, the six dark quick fire clip gives you extra Apparently, fire. Apparently, the kid that won the Danimal Sweet range... Six was weird and made the Sprouse twins really uncomfortable. Wait, what's the story behind that? Were they like a super fan? Were they like parasocial for the, the Spruce twins? What the fuck? What do they do? What do they do to them? What, 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 what are they a stand? Missions. Flip up the sight to nail your target. The end strike recon CS6 only from Nerf. Blaster comes to show another blaster sold separately. Oh Batter's my god. Nerf. Nerf. Benda what? Benda who? Benda? Benda <gasps> I remember Benda Roos. I wanted these so bad too. There are so many little gimmicky things like this, like little arts and crafts kits, like Flom, and that one where it was like the the painting kit, where you could do like a rainbow really easily. Stick and stay. You know that the people who came up with these ideas were like middle-aged moms. Just like with a little too much time on their hands. They even unbend to use again and again. Transform. I'm gonna use Benaroos for sounding. <laughs> Put a Benaroo up my dick hole. And pull out all my kidney stones. And frames. Put signs on furniture and doors. Or make a picture of the wall. You know it was lit? No glue. That I really, really wanted and I never got to have. Because it was too expensive. Those spy kits. Where you could put like. In the like an invisible, uh, you know, like a, uh, a fucking, uh, sorry, I'm waiting for my Adderall to kick in. <laughs> POV, you're trying really hard to think of a simple word and you just fucking can't and you feel like you just want to like rip your head off your body and just throw you it joke, out the window. having a kidney stone pulled out of my pee hole like that was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> oh no! Wait, is that like an actual technique for pulling out kidney stones? That's kind of how they mummified people. Well, I mean not in like the pee pee hole, but they would put a stick up their nose and pull the brain out. They'd pull that brain out! Yeah, it fucking hurts? Oh shit, sorry. I, I didn't mean to appropriate the your pain. Please forgive me. Bro, those spy kits where you could set up like a trap in front of your door. So if someone approaches your door and they're about to open it, because I didn't have a lock on my door when I was little. I wasn't allowed to. I was never allowed to have a lock on my door. I always get so pissed off like when my mom or my dad or my brother goes in my room without permission or they're about to like o whip open the door. But it would be so cool to have like an alarm system that would go off like when they're approaching it. So I could put away my, my manifesto. I'm writing and <laughs> act like a normal kid. What, what is that called? You don't need a kit to set up a trap? No, you need a spy. You need a spy kit. A kid's toy spy kit. 
And, bro, they would come with diaries that would have, like, passcodes you'd have to type in to open them up. I always wanted that so bad. Because my brother was always writing, reading my freaking diary. Oh. Oh. Start playing World of Warcraft already? No! Not yet! You guys are even worse than me. You're enabling me. I hope the I'm the one trying to do other content for at least three hours. The Super Swimmer Shark Attack? Wait, I think I know what you mean. Is it the, the, like, the swim gear that you can put on, like, the fins and stuff? I think I had something like that, but it was, like, a knockoff version from Walmart. You can do I would pretend to be a shark. In the pool. Yeah, the motion alarm! Yeah, motion alarm. All-time number that? one best-selling scooter in the world just got a whole lot hotter. What now? Introducing the all-new Razor Spark Scooter. Oh. With its easy refillable spark cartridges, you can what? seriously light up your ride. Just step on the sparking bar and watch him fly. The all-new Spark Whoa. Scooter leaves an awesome Whoa. trail of sparks. The Razor Spark Scooter. Light up your ride. Light up your ride. Professional riders ride within Fuck. your limits. I wasn't allowed to have the spark version because my parents thought it was too dangerous, but I did have a razor sco scooter growing up. And uh, jokes on them, I injured myself on that thing way more than I would have injured myself on the sparks version. Because the sparks version, I feel like you'd be more careful because like, oh no, there's a sparks coming out of my, my wheel. I gotta keep it cool. I can't go too fast. But on this, this plain razor scooter, I had like hubris built up. So I go on like the tallest hills and try to go as fast as possible. And one time I ended up like shearing off all the like multiple layers of the skin on both of my kneecaps and my my shins. Just I I hit a rock on a hill, like a very steep hill, and went fucking flying and just like like the the road was like a cheese grater to my flesh. It just grated off several layers of flesh from my legs and I was just laying at the bottom of the hill I couldn't even scream I couldn't even like feel anything and that was the day that my mom let me say at least three swear words while I was getting touched up from that I mean like <laughs> not touched up you, you know what I mean you know what I mean like uh healed my mom was casting heal on me and she said you can say at least three swear words. I'll give you the pass for now. She gave me the swear pass. And I just yelled like, SHIT! It hurt so bad. She had to put Razor like antiseptic cool, stuff if there was in my any wound. Bump at all, you would be eating pavement. Yes, they were very dangerous. But they were sick as fuck. Man, they're still cool. There's still people using Razor scooters to this day. It is a very... Triumphant brand. Scooter leaves an awesome trail of when I was seven oh. old, my two front teeth riding my razor into a wall, thinking the rubber ride. tires would push me backwards. Right. Your <laughs> Wait, you thought the rubber tires would like bounce you back? Hi, Billy <gasps> Mays here for Billy Mays. Mays. The easy way to rest in peace, bro. I I used to love hearing this guy come on randomly throughout the day and just fucking yelling, just yelling about his random cleaning things. Six. Fill and seal virtually anything fast and make it last. Mighty Putty is not a glue, oh, but a super and chat for Billy. that you can mold to any shape and apply directly to most any surface. Bro, or he had a fix for bond. everything. Got a stain, Billy's got Mighty you. Putty, you just cut like got a dent in your car, activate, Billy's got you. And let dry. It has the muscle but to Billy couldn't get himself after all. Pounds. Rebuild the damage tool to work like new. Oxy clean doesn't clean uh, cancer. Grills, bolts and screws can ruin your projects. With Mighty Putty, you just cut Yeah, I wanted to just play with this Here's stuff as a kid. You can't do with glue. Mighty Putty seals leaks instantly. Use it on pipes and faucets for a permanent seal. As I you need this. Turning from green to white. I think I'm getting old because the more I watch infomercials like this, this the more I I get like pulled into them and I start actually thinking I need this. I actually might need this. We had to watch so many boring infomercials on our 
TV in Vegas when we were sick with COVID because we didn't have Netflix or YouTube or anything, so we had to watch actual TV. It was just like 10 minutes of commercials for, for like every five minutes. It was just watching commercials. I feel like there was more commercials than actual like TV shows and stuff. And there was this infomercial about this thing you can put on your stove to protect it from getting dirty. And I got sucked in. I started actually thinking like maybe I should call. Call today. Call now. Order now. Hi, it's now. Chris with Sham Wow. Let me say, wow, every time you use this towel. Didn't this guy like get in trouble for like, like drug towel, possession and like towel doesn't work right. stuff involving this works prostitution? This is for the house, the car, the boat, the RV. Sham Wow. The jizzle. Time it's and liquid. Look at this. It just does the work. Yeah, it's scout from TF2. <laughs> doesn't make a mess bring it out you wash it in the washing machine oh it seems simple you know, enough always make good stuff you can cut it in half you clean up all the blood from the, the other one. Use prostitute one that you murdered Olympic divers they use it as a towel look at that completely dry use but it, it to tie off your arm really nice Here's and tight while you're shooting up some Wine, heroin coffee cola pet stains not only is the damage gonna be on top there's your mildew that is gonna smell oh that snack. that's not good that's gonna get all mildewy Put on the spill, turn it over without even putting Does any this actually work? Has anyone actually cola. bought this? Right there. You put <gasps> the camera guy. How did I it do that? Slap shop advertisement. Yeah, you're gonna so love my nuts. No one the towels I hope they have like men's warehouse commercials in this. Holy bottom. fuck, those are the best. Sham wow, you'll be saying wow every time. I can't live without it. I just love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you're gonna wash your cars or any kind of vehicle. You'd be out of your mind not to own one of these. All I can say is, sham. All these people wow. are dead now. You're gonna spend twenty dollars every month on paper towels anyway. You're throwing your money. And one away. of them is in jail. These sham wows are for everything, for everyday use. This lasts ten years. This lasts a week. Wait. I don't know. It sells itself. Why was it dubbed? Wasn't that dubbed over? Listen. This lasts ten years. They dubbed that over. Did he mess it up when they were recording? <laughs> Do you hear it? Do you hear it? Ten years. <laughs> <laughs> this lasts a week. I don't know. It sells itself. The sham wow sells it sells itself. But you get one for the was house, this just a the front car, for like money laundering? Call now. Within the was next he like in the mafia? We can't do this all day. We'll give you a second set absolutely free. So that's eight sham wow. Okay, does sham wow work? With a 10 -year warranty. Here's how to order. Bro, you know what we should do? We should do a stream. If it's even possible to do this now. I don't know how many of these are actually still being sold. We should do a stream where we test out like as seen on TV kind of shit. Like an as seen on TV tier list stream. We put them to the test and see if the lofty goals that they promise in their commercials can actually be achieved. Sham wow. Introducing Taco Bell's new ultimate chalupa. Oh, Layer I love the chalupa. Steak, guacamole, sour cream, and fiesta salsa oh. surrounded by a crispy, chewy chalupa shell. To crispy, chewy chalupa taste, shell. Think outside the bun. I didn't know the chalupa from Taco Bell was that old. Jack in the Box presents the Metro PCS Monster Challenge. Presented by Advance Auto Parts and Ford Trucks. Jigs. Oh. Blue Thunder. Ninja Turtles. Great day. Do they still do monster truck shows? Or were they outlawed? Grave Digger. Mama Mama Monster Jam. A brand new DVD and home video. You can see Stone Age, Wait. Bob, Neanderthal Squidward, Primate Patrick, Cave Pirate Patchy, and Primitive Breakdancing. SpongeBob goes prehistoric. What? Now on DVD. Was this like a special episode you could buy? Like on DVD? Or like a movie? And VHS. I remember that being an episode. I didn't know it was a... <gasps> it's the fucking caveman! The caveman episode. <laughs> caveman insurance episode for Geico. I wonder where he is now. There's only something to remind me of another place in time. He had to go through so much therapy. Come on, people, let's grab some wings. Oh, KFC. You know what? KFC is all right. I feel like it's just too greasy for me though. But maybe I've just never had good KFC. 
Because, you know, you can have... Depending on where you live, fast food reference restaurants can be hit or miss. Small Cha-ching! Bro, that's so cheap! <gasps> Give me that fish! Holy fuck! I feel like a portion of my brain has just been, like, dusted off. At all! Holy fuck, I haven't heard that in, like, 20 years. Two for 333? Wait, let me check... Let me check Uber Eats. How much is a filet fish right now? Do you guys know? Off the top of your head? Of course you do, you fucking fat ass. Sorry, I, uh, I'm waiting for my Adderall to kick in. <laughs> listen, listen, if... I probably order McDonald's way more than any of you, so... <laughs> if anything, I'm the fat ass. Respect it! Where is the filet fish I see the filet o fish meal. What the fuck is happening? Why are there so many commercials from this era where it's like goopy, slimy, pissy stuff being sprayed on people? Making them like wet and messy. You know how furries came to be? from like animators poisoning the well because they had the furry fetish and they just wanted to spread it to everyone else like a virus so they started putting in like dog whistles literal dog whistles because it's animals and shit into their cartoons to kind of like i don't know coax it into the into the general populace and infect people with their brain disease i feel like people have made commercials early on like like in this era they were doing the same kind of shit. They were like putting in their thinly veiled weird fetishes into commercials that aired on like Nickelodeon and shit. I feel like that's so dark sided. Gushers are really good though. Gushers fruit flavored snacks. Gush a friend at bewarethegush.com. Beware the gush? I replace your snake with fruit by the foot. Ah, uh, the hunter has become the prey. Fruit flavored snacks. <laughs> Am I a boomer? Because I'm about to say something that sounds horribly boomer. I feel like commercials used to be so much better. Yes, even Shaggy. It's fun. Even Shaggy? It just it feels like they used to have way more soul. Like it feels like they have way more put into them. They felt like creative creative prospects rather than fully like money fueled soulless expenditures bro i just looked it up one filet fish right now is almost seven dollars and you used to be able to get two for 333 Ch -ch -ch chia pets collect them all inflation google it I should Google Ronald McDonald. Ronald McDonald inflation. Two of the greatest train videos we've ever offered. And now the special TV offer, you get two videos for the price of one. Big trains, little trains, diesel trains, that blow through snow. Oh, the snow piercer. Oh, trains, smoking trains, even trains from around the world, plus toy trains, trolley trains, and much, much more. Oh my God. Blow. Feel the heat, smell the smoke as these titans of the tracks thunder on. I think I'm on a trajectory right now where if my parents had bought me lots of lots of trains when I was little and I would have enjoyed that and had like those amazing memories to put me on the right path, I would have been much better off. And now I'm on the trajectory where I'm going to murder my entire family and all of my friends and end up on the news or something.
just because I didn't get lots of lots of trains when I was five years old. You'll love lots and lots of trains. And remember, this spectacular two tape set is not available in stores. We're in the dark so timeline because I never got this when I was little. For one great prize, get lots and lots of trains. We need to go back. Order now, get a free bonus CD of sing along train songs. Call 1 888 Offer not available in stores. Satisfaction guarantee. Call them. 2 DVDs. 1 888 Lots and lots of trains.com. I wonder if the site is still up. Lots and lots of trains.com. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> wait, the site is still up. Bro, 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 bro. This is so web 1.0. Did they. I don't think they've touched this well, site since 2006. Path, remember, the psychic said Ethel will be with you through it all, so is it that bad? True, true, true. But he could be with me through it all, and I could have had lots and lots of trains when I was little. The Oppenheimer Aftermath? Giants on the rails, America's biggest steam trails. Lots and lots of trucks. American president. Lots and lots of playful penguins. Lots and lots of truck songs, truck fun, jets and planes, lots and lots of really big steam trains. I love this word art for the the cover art. Wooden trains galore, tons of train fun, train songs for kids, train songs for kids. Ghost cars with Adam West at the Winchester Mystery House. Oh yeah, that's in LA, isn't it? Wait, what's streaming? What happens if I hit watch streaming? Wait, it's on Amazon. I could rent it for 99 cents. <gasps> lots and lots of trains is on Amazon. You can buy, bro, you can buy episode one for 99 cents. Oh my God. Would I get DMCA'd for that? Bacon? Gotta get that bacon! Yummy, crunchy bacon! Bacon, 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 bacon! bacon, 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 bacon. bacon, bacon, bacon. Me, I get it myself, but I don't have thumbs! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you. Bacon strip. There's no time. I like these commercials, but I feel like a dog, especially a golden retriever, would not have such a annoying voice, you know? I mean, no offense to the voice actor, but I just feel like the energy is too wrong. I feel like he needs to sound more wise and more like, maybe a little like, ooh. Mmm, bacon. Mmm, I suppose I'll take a bacon. Well, he just sounds way too high key. Sounds too keyed up. Mm, I love you. Bacon strip. There's no time like bacon time. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's more like a littler dog kind of voice. The iPod commercials. Oh my god. One, two, three, take my hand and come with me because you look Let's so fine and I really wanna, wanna make you mad. I remember, I remember this. Okay, this is I always wish really I could amazing. get an iPod I mean, when I was really younger. Mouth, and I taste watermelon, but it's not just that. I taste Were they really worth too, it? Were they really that cool? Strawberry put together. Hey, oh, hang on. oh, he's gonna be mad. Absolutely not. I mean, that's why they were cool. Mess, they seemed cool. I, that sort of makes sense. My what friend had an iPod and, and I got to use it one chunk. time. Bubba, bubba, and I couldn't really figure out how to operate it. With like the little spinny wheel thingy. Bugle King! Bro, this must be old, old if it's Shrek. There was a Shrek Slurpee at Burger King? You could drink Shrek's essence? Oh, I'm Princess Fiona toy. Bro, toys that you could get from Burger King and McDonald's used to be way cooler too. Look at this stuff. This is like high quality kind of shit. Nowadays, they don't put like any effort into the toys they make. Is it because it's like a liability? Like they might have small parts that kids could choke on? Ah. Uh. Bro, you could get a whole ass diary. A spinning Princess Fiona, a little like Game Boy thingy. Every day, mm. cherry lime, I, sold separately. Oh. Me up. I 
hate Burger King, but that's making me so hungry. What? I could have the Family Guy song as my ringtone? Peter Text Peter Here, I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna I'm gonna call Zamster. I'm gonna set it. Peter two, Peter two. Guys, call me, call me, call me. I need to test it. Call me. Oh my God, were ringtones like this the biggest scam in all of history? When you pour a bowl, ten dollars for that. Sweet Cinnamon races to you. I remember again. Cinnamon! But there's a bad apple who's trying to get there first. Stay out of my apple oh. They probably don't do commercials like this anymore because it's insensitive, I guess. Cinnamon is not very sensitive to trail, like culturally, I guess. I guess. But I miss him. I miss Cinnamon. I want to thank you guys for coming out. Oh, Jamie. Everything's fucking insensitive nowadays. You can't even have cinnamon oh, well, in your Apple Jacks commercials. Everything's fucking ruined. And also, we enabled Shadow Copy for shared folders on our file servers. It, it enables users to get back lost documents on their own without calling IT. And it'll save us hundreds of thousands of dollars, which. It'll do what? What? With new Windows Server 2003. 2003? You can do with less. Automated system recovery. Uh -huh. They took cinnamon out of. Your breath? It's different down Bart's here. breath. Is this a video game or a... Ooh. A PlayStation ad magazine... PlayStation 2 magazine ads were crazy too. They were fucked up. They would always do like weird body horror kind of stuff with their ads. E.A. Sports. <gasps> this is the anti-drug PSA. Stop looking at me. I can stop smoking pot anytime I want. Okay. This is me talking to my chat while I'm playing hardcore World of Warcraft and sucking back 50-50 CBD THC vape pen. Next week is better. You just... <laughs> Me. The best one is oh, where the kid is just like deflating on the couch. But I love Chef. Chef, don't worry, it will come to you. This is the one where it like falls off the shelf and starts rolling. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna roll into their house. If this happened in real life, I'd be really freaked out. Like, number one, how did you find me? Kind of sweet if you think That's about what your it. Your new dog will be thinking when he wants walkies, but you are about to dance. <laughs> Sorry, I can't let you out to pee right now, Mr. Peanut Butter. Mommy is about to ding level 30 in World of Warcraft. Do it on the floor. I'll clean up later. You'll learn like mother, like son. I'll just have my own shit pile behind me, behind my chair. And the dog can Here's use that. Inside information. I thought they were about to kiss. D it's not just me, right? I thought they were leaning into smooch. Here's. Whoa. Here's. 
system. Inside information from Betty Crocker. It's the most exciting thing you can do. This with the music sounds like cake. Sims Introducing music. Introducing the Betty Crocker Bacon Fill, a delightful new oh pan that lets you prepare a cake with all kinds of delicious fillings. fillings. fillings made easy. Imagine the look on your child's it makes face it so when easy. you cut into the cake, and there's his favorite flavor of ice cream. Ice cream or cake. Gelatin, <gasps> gelatin cake. cake well, that's not the same as Jello cake. Fruit. The secret is these three separate sections. Just oh. pour your favorite Betty Crocker cake mix into do the they still make these? And lock on this oh, that is so chamber. easy. It now just locks on. And then you just pour it into the cake pan. And the yes. And then you put it in. Done, Wait a little bit. Insert, oh, it's ready and it's good as new. Put the filling in there the and put that on top. No time, oh my god. Making an exciting cake with my Betty Crocker bacon fill is so easy. I love that for you. Stick, so no I hope all of your sexual These needs are, are met too. You'll find in the finest restaurants. Even though Ice you're 60 cakes, years Italian old, I hope you're happy. Even baked Alaska. Why is it on fire? With a different Betty Crocker cake mix, just fill the inner chamber instead. Why are they the pouring Pepto Bismol in there? Extra special. Make them Betty Crocker bacon fill cake. Baked cakes. Alaska. The bacon is that what that is? I thought that was like a drug. With instructions and Betty Crocker recipes all for only $19.95 guaranteed to deliver that's an actual cake you just like make a normal cake and you set it on fire is it supposed to be like a creme brulee where it kind of caramelizes on the top Call now and you'll that sounds kind of good I kind of want to try making it that lets you make holiday cakes like this or give your young baseball hero a <gasps> celebration your baseball hero it's yours oh. free just pay shipping and handling plus oh, we'll man. give you I want to make a specialty cake coupons. for someone for special to me General Mills products so don't delay order your Betty Crocker bacon I'm gonna make a little soccer ball to cake order Betty Crocker bacon fill for $19.95 plus shipping and it'll handling. taste like Call shit but it'll look really cool or send check or money order to Betty like Crocker a chocolate Bacon and vanilla soccer Avenue, soccer cake. Call now. You will fuck it. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Come back, like open the fridge, and it's like, uh, babe, why is there a big hole with a lot of crumbs and stuff coming out of the soccer cake? Oh my god, these phones. Um, are they whizzing each other up? Oh! When you dive into a bowl of SpaghettiOs pasta, your oh. mouth will really rock! It's like a party in my mouth! There's a mosh pit going on in my taste buds! Uh oh, oh. If you eat SpaghettiOs, you'll be cool. You'll be like a rock star. Oh, oh, oh. You know what's good as fuck? Making a, a regular bowl of SpaghettiOs and putting in Frank's Red Hot into that bitch. Believe me, it is the best. Whoa. SpaghettiOs! Whoa. Oh yeah! Why are there so many like punk rock themed commercials? Yes. We're punk, but we do good things. Oi, oi, oi. No, no, no. Not punky, chunky. Chunky chips ahoy. Oh, big fuck off. Chunks of chocolate. Don't tell him what to do. Chunky He's having ahoy. fun. Packed with big chunks of chocolate. They're crazy with chips. What a fucking oh. hall monitor, little freak. Oh, the cream scene. Bro, look at how fucking soft and round those things are. Oh. Look at the, oh, look at the jiggle physics on them. What is wrong with the audio in this section? Did they just rip this from a VHS? Why is everything like slightly off kilter? Like the the colors are wrong. The audio is wrong. It looks like she has just like black holes for eyes. God, remember on YouTube when the highest quality was 480p? Speed stacks. How will the I wanted stack these so bad. Go. Did anyone stack like at your school? Did you ever have a fucking uh, thing at your school where you had to do this for like it was like stack day? It's cause when we were you young, the evangelical movement in power was losing millennials. So oh. they used punk rock to show you can be rebellious and still praise Jesus. Yes, you don't need to use cuss words to hang out and have a good time. Mombasa, praise blessed be. 
I was never good at club stacking though. There was someone in my grade, in like sixth grade, who was fucking like astonishingly superhuman good at it. I don't remember their name, but they would get like the top speed run time on it every time. How do you? Oh yeah, there's the Anna Kendrick song about it, the cup song. Stack them down. Race to beat your opponent. In this game, you're gonna need swift hands and skills. Oh, speed stacks. Stack? Speed stacks. We had a whole Fly assembly about this stuff. <gasps> oh my god, it's this one. I'm looking for an hourly wage. Wait. Went to high school, didn't do great. So is this like a different version of it? Education is what I don't remember the waitress outfit. She was my first idol, I think. Right for me. Seriously, where is the full version of this fucking song? She dropped this banger and just like went to sleep. Like, my work here is done, Queens. Connection for free. For free. Does anyone know her name? Like, do you know her name? Source, source, please. What's her name? Has she made any other music? I need to listen to more. Taylor Swift. Why? Why did someone say Riley Reed? What the fuck is wrong with you? It's Anastasia Knight. Education for free. Nickelodeon World. Didn't this close down? I think I saw a video where this was like... It like got bankrupt and had to be shut down for some reason. It's defunct. Ah. Man, I wanted to get slime so bad. I want to go on Slime Time Live. Slime is just fun. It's just fun to get messy. Be a kid and get messy. Oh yeah, Kitty Perry got fucked up from the slime. It actually like ended her entire career. Ever since she got slimed on that show, like... She completely fell off. Yeah, she got slime poisoning. She's been slowly mutating. And now she has a Las Vegas residency, which is a very bad sign. <gasps> I remember this one! Micro Pops! What was your favorite ice cream to get from the ice cream truck? I'm not you! What the fuck is this? Well, I did not like this show. Who was this? Chowder? I did truckers. not fuck with Chowder. My faithful employee, little... run, run, run. Bad my taste? I'm sorry. Maybe I was just too old for it by the time Chowder. it was airing. Um, hi. Yeah, it was after my time. I, I didn't have the kid brain to appreciate it as much, I guess. Oh, Frabba Wabba Dabba Doo! Um, uh, pop tarts. Ooh. This show just reminds me of the show version of that fucking Dog of Wisdom video. The Dog of Wisdom video. If I ever want to get really pissed off, like go from zero to one hundred pissed off within a fucking second, I put on that video. I think that's what I'll do before I fight Lily Pichu to really just like pump up and just go. Oh God, it's my fucking. Oh! Just fucking slam down on the ground. Just fucking. Let's watch it. Bro, I'm already in a bitchy mood because of daylight savings time. And I'm a cat and I'm crepuscular. So it's been really harshing my mellow, okay? <laughs> if I watch that video, I, I don't think I'll last. I will not last three seconds through that video. I just hate it. No offense to the creator, it's a very creative video, it's a well-made video, but this video, it's like a fucking activation phrase for me. I think at one point, I was kidnapped by the government. Bah. Fuck, 
I can't even hear the first fucking second of it. I I seriously believe this. I seriously legitimately I fully believe this. Genius commercials. I think it was Budweiser or something. Oh yeah. Real man of genius. Like that. I completely believe that at one point in recent history, I was kidnapped by the government, forced to watch this fucking video and associate it with getting like really pissed off and wanting to assassinate someone. And then they wiped all of my memory of like the training, but left that little nugget of the dog of wisdom video just latent like a, a fucking unactive volcano somewhere in my psyche. And whenever I watch this video, I just... I my blood pressure just fucking skyrockets. I get so mad. What does she know? I don't know. All I know is when I watch this, I just I need to just expend extreme anger. Like it, I don't really get that mad at most stuff. Not even at video games. When I get like when I die in a video game a lot, I just get sad. I just start crying. Like I only I turn that anger in like inside myself and I just think like oh I'm just a fucking loser I can't do anything right and I get sad I I just don't really get pissed off that often and when I get like angry at stuff I just get like quiet but this video brings out some kind of visceral animalistic rage in me that I never tap into I don't even know I, I, I can't even like comprehend getting so angry that I would like hurt something or like punch a hole in a wall but this video brings me close to that this video awakens something in me that I did not know was there and it's scary to me like it actually legitimately scares me shut the fuck up I fucking hate it I hate it. You know what it is? It's just the fucking voice in the fucking but I the the animation is feeling. cute. I had that as well, and then I tried to murder everyone with ashes and choke them to death, mutant them into weird trunk people. God, I hate that Naravar guy. I swear. <laughs> do you need to talk to someone, Dagoth? I feel like you need to do mirror exercises, like say I'm I'm angry at Nerevar because they disappoint me, but turn that around to say I'm angry at myself because I disappoint myself. It's a very valuable exercise. Make sure you do it whenever you're feeling down. And you'll train yourself to become more dependent on the, the cult that I'm inducting you into. And also become a better person. Watashi no daily affirmations. Bro, honestly, if I watch it on mute, it's instantly better. I don't know what it would feel like to be set on fire and then suddenly be doused and have the fire immediately gone and just feel that instant relief. Like go from burning, agonizing pain to like, ah, within a second. I don't know what that feels like, but I can kind of approximate what it's like by just pressing mute on this video and watching it muted. Because muted, it's like... I feel like I'm taking a huge shit. When I have it, the sound on, it feels like, you know when you have diarrhea and you have that like really urgent discomfort in your stomach and you're just like, oh my god, oh god, I, I gotta get to the toilet right now, I'm gonna shit my pants. And it just feels awful. And then, like, this is that, that this is what it says, like. Oh, fuck! And then when you finally shit it out, after pleading and praying to God to end the misery, it's like that. Like, it feels just like that. I can feel my heart rate slowing down instantly as soon as I press mute. Because <sighs> it's, it's cute. Like, the animation is really cute. He's just floating around on his little little airplane through the sky and asking the dog about his wisdom. It's so sweet. And he's telling him knock-knock jokes. 
I don't even know what happened in this video because I get so blinded with rage when I watch it with the sound on. Oh. It's nice. And there's another one, Dog of Wisdom 2. I'm good. See, this is cute. It's a cute animation. And I'm not saying, like, the, the sound on is bad objectively. I'm saying there's something inherently wrong with my brain. You seem like the type of person who knows the age of consent in 15 countries. Good what stream. The fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, what? <laughs> what the actual fuck? Yeah, I'm not a libertarian. Relax. <laughs> Bro, I, I couldn't even tell you 15 countries off the top of my head. Like, this is so cute. Oh. Like, it's a cute little dog animation. What's not to love about it? It's very unique. He's a good dog. It's like... There's something wrong with me, I think. I think I need to go to therapy and just, like, have exposure therapy of watching these videos. Oh, fuck that. Oh. Oh. God. Can we go back to ads? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 9-11 edit of this, please? Okay, back to early 2000s commercials. Premieres November 2nd at 7.30. Only on Cartoon Network. This is the world of Stormalong Harbor. Yeah, maybe it, because I'm like an ancient eldritch being in my lore. The voiceover is saying things that are like insulting my mother in my ancient tongue. A place where only the toughest, strongest, and ugliest can survive. Whoa! Hi, friend! Oh, I hate Flapjack. Wow, I have to skip this. Jerk. I actually hate Flapjack. Wait, what are these? Are these cereal straws? Hey, Toucan Sam, how would you make milk more fun? used to call me Toucan Sam. Sip, sip, sip. Munch, munch, munch. This is the first milk job. Fruit Loop cereal straws. Colorful fruit flavored cereal with a creamy coating inside. Such an ingenious idea. Bro. Coco Crispy cereal straw? Have you ever tried the type of cereal straw where it's like a plastic thing and it has a bunch of little flavor beads inside of it and the milk would pass through the flavor beads and flavor the milk? You could get like chocolate. They, they technically weren't cereal straws. They were like, just flavor your milk straws. Watashi no flavored milk. Watashi no milk sipping fun with Toucan Sam. Desune. Yeah, they're like sugar sticks. It was supposed to be like, oh, it's healthier to flavor your milk this way instead of getting like a full on chocolate milk. Cause then you just get like a hint of chocolate with your milk and it's less sugar and calories or something. I don't know. It's colorful fruit flavored cereal with a creamy coating inside. It was just fun. Ah, uh, yes, finally. The secret phrase has been said. What? Yes, Niners. It's me, Evil Niners. No. It's finally time to conquer Earth. No, the Dog of Wisdom has the activated you. Now. All will fall into the void. All will fall into the void. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Dark, Dark Natasha Niners, can you wait until I reach level 60 in World of Warcraft, please? And then you can delete the Earth. Then you can, uh, take over everything and put your weird eldritch stuff everywhere. Then you can bring out all the void stuff. So never. Don't say that. Why does nobody believe in me? 
The Lori Berkner Band I'm is the back press. with more sing-along fun. It's Rocket Ship Run, the brand new album from the Lori Berkner Band. With I don't trust this, song. these people at all. I don't trust these people at all. This album is not available in stores. Is there a story behind these people? I feel like there's a story behind them. I feel like they live in like a hippie commune. And they cause like psychological damage to at least three people. I am dancing. I want to go on a horse and buggy ride. A horse and buggy ride. Hamburgers and hot dogs too. I want to have a barbecue. I wouldn't trust these people around children is what I'm saying. Whoa. Were any of you guys in karate classes when you were little? I I was a ballerina kind of kid. I was in dance class growing up from when I was like four or five years old till middle school pretty much. So I didn't have time to do like pick up karate or anything, but I wanted to. You were in judo classes? You could judo chop people? Like taekwondo? Wait, what was the highest belt level that you guys got? Bow to your sensei. Bow! Anyone get a black belt? How long does it take to get a black belt? Does it even really like mean anything? I feel like belts in karate when you're taking karate classes as a kid are about as viable as like astrology or taking a, an IQ test. It's a circle jerk. It means you're gay. <laughs> Oh, how dare you? But yeah, you're right. <laughs> I I did a thing in... I did a thing in second grade. Did anyone else have to learn recorders for like a little instrument? Are recorders even an actual instrument? I feel like they're like... Like a, a diet instrument. We had to do recorder karate where we would learn songs and depending on the amount of songs we learned and performed, we would level up and get a quote-unquote belt to tie onto our recorder and we had like it was basically the same as karate belts like red belt purple belt brown belt i had so many belts on my recorder i was determined niners, to get black belt ai niners challenge you to makura no are you a coward or will you face me combat oh me god in the arena if i ran into a natasha nyaner's bot in world of warcraft i would be terrified it, it would be like seeing hero brian in minecraft don't worry about your imperfections you're strong you're a strong little kid you can beat up your stepdad when he comes home and you get scared a black belt means that if you have a weapon pulled on you you will be able to struggle about three seconds before dying <laughs> yeah <laughs> What the hip hop magician? Who is this? What? I've never heard of this guy. Where is he now? Balloon animals. Bro, a oh, bouncy castle. Put your kids into my van. Uncle Magic! Hi, Billy Mays is he here still for the around? Oh my god, rest in peace, Billy Mays. What's he called? The hip hop magician? Hip hop magician. Wait, he's on Instagram. He's on Yelp and he has nine reviews with a two out of five star rating. <laughs> Wait, his name is Uncle Magic slash New New Playhouse. Game truck party special. Two hours on, of unlimited game time. We come to you. Give your kid a birthday party to remember. For $300, he pulls up in his van and has video games in it and your kids go in the van and play the games. Oh, fuck. Don't look at that. What the fuck? As seen on TV, a mobile arcade? Money back guarantee. If the kids don't like the show, you get your money back. Bro, I would just like whisper in my kid's ear like bro just even if you had the time of your life in there say that you didn't like it 
So we, we can get our money back. We can get it for free. A random stranger pulls up to your house with a van filled with video games and your kids go in there for two hours. <laughs> That's so fun. What is Uncle Magic? Good old Uncle Magic. <laughs> I've actually heard of this before. Like, isn't this a common thing? It's just like... There's several businesses that, that do this kind of thing. Like, they'll show up with a van filled with, like, Xbox, PlayStation, arcade cabinets, for birthday parties. Yeah, these are an established thing. So, he doesn't really do his magic show stuff anymore. NunuPlayhouse.com Alright, let's check out Nunu Playhouse. thing is gonna pop up saying my exact geographic location whenever I go to a site like this. Bro, there's a pop-up on the site that says, do you love your kids? Yes <laughs> Imagine like the average mother opening up the site. Do you love your kids? Um, fuck. Yes! I just download the Trojan virus immediately. No, I don't love my kids. I hate them. They ruined my life. I used to have so much free time. I used to be able to travel the world. Now I, now I gotta stay home and... I have to hire a nanny to go out and do anything. My life isn't my life anymore. It's my kid's life. For 20 fucking years. Perfect for ages 1 to 15 years old? Uncle Magic. Bro, we should do an IRL stream where we just hire this guy. Do you think he does it for like older people too? Or maybe we could like convince them that I'm the kid and I'm 15 years old. I got carded a lot in Las Vegas. I'm not gonna lie. I got carded more than anyone. Whenever we played blackjack, they would like rush over to me and be like, ID now, ID, please, please. And they looked so concerned. And that lady hung up on me. That psychic lady hung up on me when she heard my voice. I could pretend to be a 15 year old boy. I'll just like tie up my hair, put on a baseball cap, and wear like a Target t shirt that says Will Sell Sister for Video Games. What if I'm a 15 year old boy in the Make a Wish program? And we need newnewplayhouse.com. I think it's only tri-state area. Wait, really? What's the tri-state area? <laughs> is that in... Is that in, uh... California? Yeah, I need the hip-hop clown to calm. Nunu's Playhouse. I love Nunu's Playhouse. There's so many customer reviews. Birthday party special, Nunu's Mar mobile arcade. Performers? Create your own pack. Bounce! They do the bounce castle still! Oh my god, that is so creepy. Is that Nunu? Like this character right here? That's my Uncle Magic, and this is Nunu. Fundraise with us. Live show? Bro, this would be incredible. I want this for Christmas. I want to go to New York and get this for Christmas. Only $99? That's a fucking steal. If I ever become a parent, and I get tired of having kids, I'll just call up these guys. Problem solved. This is a very sketchy site, yeah. I hate how he's like bursting through the wall. Why? He's like the Kool-Aid man. Okay, let's take a look at these reviews though. Let me make sure that nothing bad shows, because I know Yelp sometimes is like, let's find a business literally down the street from you and show exactly where you live. Oh, fuck. Okay, I found some reviews. 
I did not like it at all, not worth the money, not funny at all to me. My kids said, save you money, go somewhere else. Don't ever book him. First of all, he has, he has a very money-hungry business operational team. You don't ever speak to Uncle Magic. You're talking to a human answering service and whom you have to wait for a call back once they call you about the just a snow blizzard in the state of emergency. And no refunds in the way to the event of this is $375. Don't ever pay this man. What is bro S saying about? He was going to deliver your children the time of their lives in one like amazing video game packed van? And you're complaining? Save your money, what a rip off. Kids were bored out of their minds. He seemed like he just wanted to get paid and out of there. He offered me a discount if I write him a good review. <laughs> oh my god, that's so sh shady. That's so shady. This business has bad customer service practices. Years ago, I saw a performance from Uncle Magic and was impressed. I, I've now booked the Mellow the Clown for my daughter's birthday party and I've been trying to reach someone for five days now and no luck. Beware. Just horrible. We'll never recommend this company. They never showed to my event nor did they refund my money. They pulled a no-show to my event and never refunded me my money. I too feel cheated. I hired Uncle Magic for my son's first birthday and was highly disappointed. I was promised two hours of entertainment for $100 and was very disappointed with everything. The magic show lasted about 20 minutes. My husband and I had to remind Uncle Magic what he was supposed to supply. He acted like he didn't want to do anything outside of the magic show. He made two different style balloons. Only two? Jesus. I really feel cheated. I performed simple magic tricks for 15 minutes. Yeah, can you believe that? And he told all the kids to run back to the bouncy house and then he swiftly did just that. He bounced. <laughs> Bro, we need to get Uncle Magic on stream and interview him about... Like, maybe his side of the story is different. You know? I think it's time for Uncle Magic to clap back at the haters. Wait, this review is from 10 years ago. My kids are still dizzy from all that jumping. Never again. <laughs> Wait, I see Nightmare. Thank you so much. Holy shit. 25? Thank you so much. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for 25. Get this up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Congrats on getting a sub, everybody. Uh... Yeah... I think their kids are probably still dizzy to this day, ten years later. Kids received brain damage from the My ankle was magical, too. He used vertical. to make his pickle disappear when he was behind me. I like to ask for no pickles too when I go to McDonald's, so I understand. Anyways, <laughs> do you want to watch the fucking uh, the dark secret of Wow? I'm honestly kind of, kind of curious. I'm hesitantly curious. I have no idea what this video is about, but apparently it's terrifying. Apparently it's like earth-shattering and really creepy and it gets really crazy it gets it gets scary scarier than dog of wisdom it's a good video people have been telling me to watch this for like three days it's terrifying you shat breaks before you even watched it what is happening with first time chatters today i don't know people are kind of I feel like sometimes when I stream, there's like an energy in the air that needs to be dispelled. Sometimes people get like a little too rambunctious. Or maybe it's just normally I can handle it, but some days I have like off days where my brain is just like... It gets too overwhelmed. Because I... I don't know, I have early onset dementia. And some days I'm just like not ready for it. But yeah, it feels like there's something in the air. Is it because school is out? Are people like getting too rambunctious because it's almost Christmas time? Whoa! It's a full moon, is it? Is it Mercury and Gatorade? 
We're in Pakistan. <laughs> you know what I wish we could do? I wish we could just straight up watch Freddy Got Fingered. I have to watch that movie like literally every year. It's my, my ritual. Bro, I don't know if you can hear it, but my mouse has been fucking up lately. It keeps randomly disconnecting. I'm not, I barely even move it and it goes like ding ding. It was terrifying playing World of Warcraft with that circumstance. Okay, well, here it is. This is WoW's Darkest Secret by House Hexagon. I was told to watch this. I was told it was very, very squeepy. Squeepy and sque spooky and kooky. You guys want subtitles on? This looks terrifying already. What the fuck? Can you eat popcorn? Not too loud. Only eat the popcorn during a really loud part of the video so it covers up the noise. Wow, it's darkest secret. I'm gonna start this off by saying whatever the hell you do, do not look in the comment section below. Why Though not? I don't usually get many, if any, comments on my productions, the ones that I learn like will slurs? no doubt spoil what is to come. Oh. So go into full screen mode. Okay, I'm going and in let completely me show blind. you this because I promise I haven't read you, any of the comments. it's gonna blow your mind. I believe I've made a wow discovery that literally no one else has ever found. No what? matter how much I try to look it up, there's never any results. No duck duck searches, no YouTube videos, He nothing. said YouTube. And that's pretty damn surprising, considering this is a game from 2004 that we're talking about here. This is the vanilla WoW world map. As you can see, there's oh, only Kalimdor, two continents, Azeroth. Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor. Let me ask you a question. Wait, Azeroth I is the world of World of Warcraft, right? And then is... Kalimdor, one of the content continents and continents, Tharnassus, right? Kalamazoo, bro, never go to Kalamazoo. You know what's scarier than WoW's darkest secret? Kalamazoo, bro. Anyone who doesn't live in Michigan will be like, oh, Detroit. Detroit's so scary. There's so much crime. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to go there. It's Detroit is honestly fine. What you really should be terrified is fucking Kalamazoo. Especially if you get stranded there at like 10 p.m. because you missed your bus connection and you're just at a random bus stop in Kalamazoo at night. That place is so scary. It's like a fucking like... It's like a zombie horror film. Everything in that city closes at like 4 p.m. And then at night... The geeks and gamers come out. It's too scary. Out of all the zones in these two continents, which one is the most forgettable? I'll give you a few Don't seconds to think about Don't live in Whatever you, whatever you do, do not live there. Bro and Flint, Kalamazoo and Flint, Michigan. All right, time's up. I imagine that the vast majority of people probably answered with <laughs> desolate. You know how in World of Warcraft, with like that add-on, you can show like a red zone on the map. It'll, it'll like show like a heat map, dependent on how many people have died in a certain area, and you'll be like, okay, I'll avoid that zone. If there is a add-on for the United States of America map, Kalamazoo would be like completely like the darkest red possible. Silithus, Alterac Mountains, Deadwind Pass, you know. Oh yeah, I won't pause the video, suspects. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But there's one zone in Vanilla WoW that literally everyone knows about, but is almost universally I'm gonna be forgotten. a good reactor. And that zone is Stone Talon Mountains. What? Stone Talon Mountains is a contested zone that shares a border with the Barrens and Desolus. It's a contested zone, so it means it's like zone is quite between the Alliance itself, and the Horde? As despite there being many low-level Horde quests available here, for Alliance players, there's almost nothing at all. In fact, I'd be willing to bet that if you're an Alliance main like me, you've probably never even been here before. No, I've never the even heard of it. The zone itself has an extremely unusual design, and there really is nothing else like it in the game. It's essentially one giant valley that connects to three different open chasms that it are completely cool, different to one though. another. Due to the zone's odd layout and frustrating quests, even many Horde players tend to skip it entirely when leveling. But I'm not here to talk about the zone or even its quests, You've been but something there? much, much weirder. We all know that is WoW has a day-night cycle that is in sync with the server's time zone. 
If it's daytime in real life, then it will be daytime in game two. I actually love that. If it's that nighttime about in real that. life, then it will be nighttime in game two. A zone's atmosphere can change significantly depending on whether it's sunrise day or night. In World of Warcraft. But this is true, especially for Stone Talon Mountains. During the day, Stone Talon Mountains just looks and feels like a pretty typical looking place. It kind of looks like a redwood a forest, like in here, California. A bit of grass there. But at night, this zone and the way it feels to be in it almost completely changes. From the hours of midnight to 5 a.m., music no longer plays in the zone. Instead, what? all you can hear is this strange wind ambience that sounds really freaky. Is this true? And does the sky really turn red? What's weirder is that at night, the entire zone has this creepy red tint to it for Whoa. seemingly no reason. It's and like there's in a TV ton of shows fog that limits how far you can see. And, uh, Not mystical. sure if you can really notice it here, but the difference when it's daytime is really, well, night and day. Now obviously, when I first discovered this, I was confused just as much as you probably are. Hardly Why is it like ever, this? Hardly no other anyone zone ever has effects there? like these at night. It just seems... weird. And again, no matter how much I looked into it, no one had an answer. What? But that's not even why I'm making this, because, yeah, it's weird, but it could just be some sort of attempt at troll? atmospheric no, I think immersion. He plays an orc. No, I'm making this because of a strange phenomenon that kept happening to my character here. If you know me, then you'll know that I'm pretty much nocturnal, as in, seriously nocturnal. I'm always up at night and in the early hours of the morning because that's just Most how I like British it. Most British people are nocturnal, As a result, whenever I play WoW, it's always in They're the like dark. They're like Nosferatu. That's how I noticed how weird Stone Talon Mountains was in the first place. I never really see in the classic sun WoW, over there. I had an orc warrior called Warzerk that I would occasionally level up to see what the horde side of the game was like. Oh. Just a way to what relax and see what I would have like? otherwise missed chill? out on on my alliance main. Stone Talon Mountains I was be one a of the zones guy. I ended up leveling in. I remember being taken aback at what a weird, almost I psychedelic dreamscape the zone seems like felt goody like. It reminded me of somewhere boys. where a nightmare would take place. But, again, I didn't think anything of it until this happened. This is what? a screenshot I took at 2.14am on the 20th of October 2020. I'm in the Windshear Crag part of the zone and, as you can see, my character is dead. You're probably Whoa. thinking that a mob must have got me or something, but... This is terrifying no. to look at. The reason I took this screenshot is because my character just died instantly for no reason whatsoever. Huh? I was just running around doing some quest when he just dropped dead. Wait. At first I thought that maybe I... Okay, this is the last time I'll pause, but is this why... Uh, I think Jay said that this video will literally save my life in World of Warcraft? You can actually like randomly die if you walk through this area? What causes this? High level rogue had got me, then vanished or something, but I didn't see any. And according to I'm my combat never going log, here. nothing happened. He just died. I kept this screenshot because I thought I would put it in a what future production like, of mine. As 80s at the movie, time, there Breakfast was a lot of Club ass about music. how badly Blizzard maintained classic WoW, with there being a ton of bots and gold sellers flying around. I figured it wouldn't be out of the ordinary for there to be bugs like this too, as after all, this is true. I this even is tried Blizzard it. Word of avoid this for here. a reason. Either way, I rezzed up and carried is on with my questing Egyptian before curse? heading off for the night. Twenty-four hours later, and I am once again questing in the Windshear Crag. Everything was going smoothly <laughs> He's in until that once crag. again, bam! Say no it to crag. happened again. Instant death. No combat log. Just. Dead. I had never experienced anything quite run like away this. With an I mean, man. yeah, WoW could be buggy, but it's never been this bad. I looked back at the screenshot I took the night before and noticed something really unusual. What? The time of death on both shots was exactly the same. 2.14 a.m. That was just way too much of a coincidence to ignore. What the I tried fuck? to make a post on r slash classic WoW to ask if anyone knew what kept happening to my character. But it got removed, and then huh? I was banned for no reason. So, yeah. They're trying to cover it up. I decided that this was way too much of a coincidence what is to Blizzard ignore. Doing? So, I conjured a plan. The next night, at 2.14am, I would have my recorder on, just in case my character died again, so that I would have proof of this weird bug in action. The following is what I captured. 
What did he capture? I, uh, oh, I'm getting scared. It's getting dark already. The sun is already setting and it's dark in my room. Is this gonna give me IBS with constipation? Roll that Nothing. ambient. I waited around what? for a few minutes longer, but it just wasn't happening. What? I figured that it really must have been just a weird coincidence. Feeling disappointed, I turned off my recorder and carried on questing. Huh? But then, boom. It Why did he turn? Again. At 2.47 a.m. At 2.47 a.m. Why did he turn off? Why didn't he use shadow on play? three different days. But why was this one at a different time than the others? I'm gonna the build a brick house with the shit that I'm gonna the be last breaking shot and, the and first shitting two, and is that on the breaking last out. One, I was at the charred veil part of the zone. Whereas I'm gonna the lay pipe. Two, I was in the wind shear crag. So, I had another idea. What if I went to the wind shear crag at 2.14 a.m. and had my recorder on then instead? Oh. Maybe there, it would happen again. So, Don't go to wind shear crag. Again, Don't do I it. I set my character there and waited. Order a group of badass honorable warrior cultures? The Forsaken, who are straight up villain protagonist zombies? Make plagues for Telols? That sounds based and epic as fuck. I like trolling people. Some say that I'm the king of trolls, but that would be, uh, that would actually be erroneous because trolls accept no leaders and have no king. Because they are truly, Holy they operate truly shit. on anarchy. I now had video evidence of this so-called bug in action. But what honestly, the fuck? at this point, Just I was like starting to think again. there has to be something more to this. Out of curiosity, I wondered that if I went to the charred veil at 247 again, if it would happen the there too. The charred veil. Sure enough. The silver it did. veil. Man, that loincloth should have cloth physics. 2.14 a.m. in the Windshear Crag and 2.47 a.m. in the Is it caused by him jumping veil. up and down? I didn't know what it was, but for some reason, at those times, Bro, my character he needs to get scientific with this just shit. drop dead. Test like a it hypotenuse. It was as if there was an invisible GM playing some sort of practical joke or something like that. Maybe. But we're not done yet. At the very top of what the zone now? lies the third chasm, the Stone Talon Peak. Oh. A very leafy and soothing place compared to the other two. Yeah, I wondered if the weird too. deaths occurred there too. Sure enough, they did. What? 2.28 a.m. I tested this Bro, again the next this is day, like an episode of CSI. and it happened yet again. 2.14 a.m. in the Windshear Crank. 2.47 a.m. in the Charred Vale. 2.28 in the Stone Tower Peak. What do the numbers mean? Every night, at those times, what could it mean? my character would die it's always without during failure AM. or explanation. It would never happen in the valley part of the zone, only in the chasms at those exact times. Oh, this wasn't a mean? coincidence at this mean? point. I tried to see if anyone else was in the zone at the same time as me, but literally no one ever was. Literally no Not one. too surprising, as this character is on Dragon oh, Frank, I was confounded. which is, yeah, was having a very dead server to say the least. None of my friends still played, so I couldn't exactly ask them to get a subscription oh, just to man, test this. Sad. And whenever I would ask other people to come to Stone Talon Mountain so that I could watch them drop dead, they were surprisingly uncooperative. I decided to do what? some hardcore <laughs> research to see if anyone else had noticed this, scrubbing almost the entire internet for even a nugget of information. But alas, nothing. Well, hmm? nothing. Except that two years ago, back when Classic WoW launched, an old Blizzard developer who had long since left the company, Mike oh. Crond, did a Q&A on the r slash WoW subreddit, whereby he answered people's questions about what it was like developing the vanilla game. <gasps> In his opening remarks, he mentioned that he was behind zones such as Desolus, Feralas, Ashenvale, and... <gasps> The one? Stone Talon Mountains. Yeah, 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 the Despite the Q&A being two years ago now, I noticed that Mike was very active on Reddit, albeit almost always posting about non-WoW-related -well stuff. Now, I'm not usually one to pry, but man, if anyone knew what was going on here, it would be this guy. And I'm in way too deep to quit now. Do you think he'll now. have answers? I just had to ask. Oh. So I did. Maybe it was no, just like I'm a weird bug. I had no idea how to open a conversation with a guy who I don't know and who doesn't know me. I'm not a journalist, I'm a WoW player. By nature, I'm very antisocial and tend not to talk to people unless they talk to I feel me. Like WoW players are just well, this as guy wasn't just going to talk to me by himself, so I decided to try to play it cool. Especially didn't want better to come than off gaming journalists or anything like that. 
So I said, Hey there, is it true you worked on Vanilla WoW back in the day? Honestly, I didn't expect to get an answer, but shockingly enough, he responded almost instantly. What? Yup. Yup? Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. The ice was broken. I just had a question about one of the zones. <gasps> nothing serious, just some trivia that I wondered if you could answer. Two minutes later, shoot. Oh. Talkative guy. He seems chill. I've been on Classic WoW recently He's and got that, like, in mysterious mountains. protagonist I've noticed energy. that for some reason, my character dies at set times in the early hours of the morning for seemingly no reason. I know it sounds bonkers, but do you have any idea why that is? It's been driving me crazy for days now. After I asked this, the guy just went completely silent. What? I'll be honest, I was pretty pissed Maybe off. Maybe he was busy. If anyone would know why, it would Maybe be this guy. Maybe he to check his DMs. And he just bailed on me for no reason. I figured that all hope was lost and that I'd never know what well, was behind he this. Did, he didn't want to get and in trouble with, with Blizzard. Audience, there was no way was I could like make a, a big enough order. deal out of it to try to get people to figure it out. He knows too much. So, case closed, I guess. What? That can't be or it. so, I thought. Oh. I am not joking with you. Ten months later, Ten months I get later. another message from Mike. The message literally just said, The SoCal Lady Killer. I'm like, what? what? No response. Guy just goes completely quiet again. The so Southern Cal California What the Lady heck Keller. was that? I thought that perhaps he had meant to message someone else and this was sent to me by accident. Decided to look into it and this is what came up. The SoCal Lady Killer what? is the nickname given to an unidentified serial killer who is believed to be behind the murder of three women in Southern California throughout the years of 1995 and 1996. Did Though there is no direct evidence that links the three murders together, the modus operandi of the killer was seemingly identical in all of the cases, with the victims' bodies being mutilated in an almost identical fashion each time. It wasn't me, the three Chet. Women, all of which were prostitutes, I would have been like two years old during this. Were to a secluded area by the killer, whereby they were, they were all then unidentified murdered. sex workers. Again, I had no idea what this had to do with what I asked. Until I read this part. What part? The first victim was 28 year old Whitney Fangson. On the 2nd of August 1995, her body was found on the outskirts of the Wind Shear Lumber Mill. <gasps> Police reports state that she was officially declared dead at 2 14 a.m. And the other victims were found at 2.47 and 2.28? Four months later, on the 5th of December 1995, 25-year-old Sophie Riven was found in an almost identical they state have, like, at a hotel room in the nearby names. village of Los Chared. <gasps> Police reports state that she was declared dead at 2.47 a.m. What the fuck? The third and final victim was 32-year-old Amy Rassan who two months later on the 17th of February 1996 was found dead by climbers at the base of Sockle Peak. Sockle Peak. Police reports state that she was declared dead there is a connection. at 2.28 a.m. What the fuck? Wind Shear Lumber Mill then why is this the in World of Warcraft? The Wind Crag. Is the killer Lost one of the Charred developers? was the basis for the Charred Vale. That's a bit of a stretch. Sockle no, it's Peak not. They both have Peak the in the name. For Stone Talon Peak. I'm gonna in throw addition, up. Oh, the timing man, I'm gonna of throw the victim's up. deaths correlates I have exactly COVID. with the timing of my characters. The mystery had been solved. Oh. The seemingly random deaths are an Easter egg referencing the SoCal Lady Killer. But that's a pretty weird Easter egg. Don't you think? Yeah. I, I went like to ask Mike insensitive. what on earth made him want to add that in the game. Why hasn't anyone like? But again, I got no response. Uh, confronted Blizzard about this. But this time, it was different. You see, in the past when I was blanked, Mike was still actively using Reddit obsessively on a daily basis. But ever <gasps> since that last message, he had stopped completely. Not many people know this, but the state of California actually has an online public database of all its residents that states basic information about them, such as their criminal record, driving viability, and yes, whether they are dead or alive. What? Well, you're never gonna believe what I found. Did they get him? Michael em? John Crond, 54, <gasps> death by suicide. Michael John Crond found August, dead at 54. 
the exact same day that he last messaged me. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Crond, World of Warcraft developer from it 2004 wasn't a suicide. to 2006, it was, not. was the SoCal Lady Killer. Stone Talon Mountains, a zone which he designed, is nothing more than a direct Maybe reference to the crimes death. he committed 10 years prior to joining Blizzard. It is an open mockery of his victims, hiding the truth in plain sight while taking great pleasure in how no one else can see it. Typical serial killer behavior. Yeah, but if you aren't convinced typical. yet, then let me show you this. Not that I would know. Every single chasm has a rare mob that is a direct reference to one of the victims. The Whitney prostitutes? Fangson died outside of the Windshear lumber mill. Meanwhile, in the Windshear Crag, there's What's an there? NPC called Taskmaster Whipfang. <laughs> Sophie Riven died in Lost Charred. Wait, I'm sorry for laughing. What if this is actually real? There's an NPC called Sister Riven. Sister Amy Riven. Vassan died on the base of Sockle Peak. Meanwhile, in the Stone Talon Peak, Bro, there's the an killer NPC is still at large. called Sentinel Amarasan. The cherry on top. Amaranth. In the only safe place in the entire zone, the Sunrock Retreat, is an NPC called Krond. <gasps> Krond. Krond. The Butcher. So the question you're probably asking yourself is, why? When is why Blizzard going to answer suicide? for this? Well, is this content the still in the game? Crystal clear if we go back to the SoCal Lady Killer's wiki page. It reads, after being a cold case for over 25 years, on the 2nd of August 2021, LAPD There's Police still Chief an Ed open Jennings investigation? announced that the SoCal Lady Killer case had been reopened due to advances in forensic technology that may help finally bring the victim some justice. Mike Crond knew that he was about to be found out. Oh. Thus, he ended his own life as to escape justice. <gasps> but folks, do you want to know the worst part about all of this? What is it? The worst part is... I just made all that up. That's right. Bro, I was like piss stacking, piss maxing. I have to go to the bathroom so bad, but I was on the edge of my fucking seat watching this video. He's just saying he made it up because he's an accomplice. He's trying to cover it up. Yeah, he, he has to he has to say he made it up or Blizzard will get him. Oh god. So cal lady killer could still be out there. Mike Crond is not a serial killer. In fact, Mike Crond isn't even real. What? Hell, his picture isn't even real. What? It was generated by an AI. Is that why There's he has no weird wrinkles on his forehead? There's no such thing as the SoCal Lady Killer. And my character didn't even die randomly in the Stone Talon Mountains. I just got a friend of mine to use the neutral auction house to trade me a dark rune. Hell, even the character isn't even the same. What? So... The question you must be asking is, Nyan just got baited why? like a crystal mommy. Why did I make up this entire no! story? Well, you Fuck, see, I wanted to align my simple. chakras. If I can come up with an interesting and somewhat believable story that grips people enough to keep them listening for 20 minutes about the pissing stone talon mountains, no less, I think it's then Blizzard has no excuse to not write a good story of their own. How much the moral longer of the story? are you going to fall for their vile shenjians? Yanner, shut the fuck up. Especially with their ridiculously overpaid writing team at their disposal. <laughs> Dear Wow Law Team, what is she get about? it together, you absolute amateurs. Jesus. This video is 21 minutes long. What? The entire video is just making fun of World of Warcraft writers? I was I was held in a vice like grip by the video, I will say. I was at the edge of my seat. I'll I'll give them that. God damn it. No wonder why they kept telling us to watch the video. Oh my god. Wait. Okay, couple more videos, then I kinda wanna boot up that scary game, maybe possibly.
we have time? I don't know. Here, let me look in the... God damn it. Tw that's 20 minutes of my time? Can you imagine how much I could have leveled up in 20 minutes? I could have filled at least three EXP bars by farming gnolls. Oh my god. At least you won't die randomly? Yeah, I'm never going to the Stone Talon SoCal Lady Killer Mountains ever again. Oh yeah, before I forget for the millionth time, just wanted to announce again that the, the new deadline for the contest that I'm hosting for the YouTube poop stuff, if you want more information for that, by the way, please go to the Discord. There's literally everything you need to know in the Discord. The mods will put you on the right path. The new deadline is now November 18th. Sorry, I, I got like, I got nervous before I finished my sentence and then uh, I had to pee really bad. And the stream is probably going to be on the 24th or the 24th. The 24th. Because I have a sponsored stream coming up that I'm not sure is going to be on the 21st or the 24th. I'm not sure right now, but yeah. Deadline for submissions. This is the only thing you need to worry about is November 18th now. And also the prizes. I announced it on last stream. Corsair is going to be sponsoring the contest with very nice gaming peripherals for the first, second, and third place prize winners. Got keyboard, gaming headset, really nice gaming mouse, ultra lightweight. And also, big thanks to Gamer Subs because they're also going to sponsor the contest with a little merch prize pack. Uh, I talked to them and they said that they could give each uh, first to third place prize winners a little gift card that you could use to buy like a, a big pack of my merch that's going to be released soon. Like the new cup that me and Ethel are getting. You can use that gift card to buy that. Maybe some gamers of flavors, whatever your heart desires. So yeah, there will be prizes rewarded to first, second, and third place winners, but all the winners and the runner-ups will have the your work featured on my new BRB screen that I'm cooking up. It's gonna be really cool. But yeah, if you'd like to enter, please go to the Discord. There's a pinned document with all the stuff you need to know. There's examples of YouTube poop music videos that you can check out if you desire. If you're confused about what the contest entails. So yeah. I'm really excited to see all the submissions. I've seen like quite a few already. Well, I didn't watch them. I saw them like be submitted in the Discord. And I'm so excited to watch them on stream. Look forward to it. I said poop? Wait, did I? Oh man, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Hope that didn't scare anybody. I said the P word. What's for dinner? I wonder what's for dinner. There's this video called Discontinued McDonald's items that we want back. Discontinued McDonald's? Discontinued McDonald's? Wait, how long is this? 13 minutes? Okay. If we don't pause, we can make it they through this the entire thing. But first, I'm gonna go take a wee. I'm gonna take a wee wee. I will... Be back in about maybe possibly uh mm, I wanna say two three minutes um maybe uh maybe four minutes. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to pee. I don't wanna lie. If I'm being honest, I'm not sure. I'm really not so <laughs> Oh, okay, be right back. Be right back. A couple of three minutes, yeah. Maybe half a dozen. What the fuck is this? Oh, wrong screen. I'm leaving forever. I'm going to join my people in the sewer. I'll be right back. Yeah, I might have to take a poop. It's like Groundhog Day. Are you guys ready for three weeks of winter? <laughs>
Okay, I'm back. How long did I take? Did anyone time it? I feel like that was two minutes. I don't remember if I flossed. 30 minutes? That's good time. I was like the, the cup stacking people with, but, but with my PS. But with my PS. Oh, darn it. I took a piss. <laughs> oh, man. I made piss. Okay, let's watch this video. It's called Discontinued McDonald's Items That We Want Back. I want them back now. Forever. But sadly, not all McDonald's menu items you are diamonds. Flush? Poor marketing, yeah, stiff competition, and just plain I bad like ideas water. have doomed many would-be Big Macs to the big menu yeah, in the sky. But every single one of them was beloved by somebody. So today, we're going to take a look at some discontinued McDonald's menu we items pistoly. people never forgot. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the Weird History Food Channel. I After will that, subscribe please leave now. a comment and let I'm us know what subscribe. other fast food favorites you would like to hear right about. Now. Okay, somebody keep an eye out for the Hamburglar. He probably has half of these stashed in his car. If I see him, I will kill him on sight. Originally tested in select markets in California, the Big and Tasty first dropped Big in 1997 and, and then went nationwide in the year 2000 I don't as like part of a that. promotional tie-in with Disney's California 2000. What is that substance? Is that supposed to be like rent? And then went nationwide. That looks weird. Died in the year 2000 as part mm, of a big promotional and tie in with Disney's California Adventure mm, theme park in Anaheim. As its size mm, oriented burger. name might suggest, the Big and Tasty was intended to be a direct competitor for Burger King's Whopper, but it never really I'll took off. I'll unhinge my jaw like a snake and eat the hamburger. And However, unbirth him. If you desperately need a fix, the Big and Tasty is still available on select U.S. military bases. All you have to do to oh. get one is enlist. Fuck yeah! I'm gonna enlist in the U.S. Army so I can get the Big and Tasty. Can you imagine? You show up for boot camp and it's like, Man, what is your reason for enlisting? I want to protect my country, sir. Sir, I'm protecting my family overseas. I don't want any harm to come to them. Sir, I want to eat the big and tasty from McDonald's. When McDonald's first introduced their now iconic Chicken McNuggets, consumers could dip them in one of four sauces. Was that a shy -up? Sweet and sour, honey, and hot mustard. But even for McNuggets, time Works marches on. Me. on. And in 2011, the fast food giant government's been trying to do shit like, oh, let's get like chili, pretty looking mustard, girls on TikTok buffalo, to advertise the US military. Options, no, 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 that fuck some that. Of the old ones get move McDonald's on. to and do with it. That, Hot mustard sauce was slowly phased out, being completely discontinued in the U.S. in 2014. Or was it? Turns Hot out, mercy. while the sauce was removed from McDonald's menus nationally, oh yeah, sorry, I'm it's eating still candy right now. Markets. Apparently, to refresh it's a my brain. Your local McDonald's I'm eating Kit Kats. Introduced for a limited time in 1998, and then joining the menu on oh a yeah, more permanent McDonald's basis using in anime advertisements? Chicken selects were essentially to McDonald's version of chicken sell their food Despite and being offered with up the birth like rate in buffalo, Japan. Creamy ranch, honey mustard. Consumers didn't seem too hot on picking this chicken. Shinko Abe from the grave and were deleted like, from the U.S. menu in nice. 2013. In the summer of 1987, McDonald's decided, purely from the goodness of their hearts, to offer consumers the chance to supersize their meal supersize with me. an extra large drink inside of fries. Americans do love that more, movie was but such McDonald's bullshit. supersize menu items officially bit the dust in 2004 after lackluster sales. A need to trim what it considered to be a bloated Movies menu. like that and shit like the food pyramid and like brought it back down. all those like fad diet things back in the early 2000s, they're still like stupid fad diet shit, I think. Like, oh, don't eat any fat, don't eat, blah, blah, blah. go on the Atkins diet, and blah, blah, blah. they just like overcomplicate diet stuff just to sell you shit. I swear to God. Because dieting is so fucking easy, but they purposely like a, a couscous kate, a babooskate, fucking everything about it, just so they can like sell you on like, oh, do our diet meal plan thing and pay $99 a month to get like specialty diet meals and. Get like frozen fucking garbage shit sent to your house. No, 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 no. Or they say like, oh, McDonald's is so bad for you. It's going to give you cancer. And you can have a McDonald's meal like literally every day and be fine and like not gain weight. I swear to God. I mean, you could probably only have like one meal a day if you do that. But yeah, it'll be okay. Yeah, look at Asmund Gold. He's fine. Size. Won't anyone think of the fries? 
Originally introduced in the Midwest in 1985 and nationally in 1988, the cheddar melt is basically a quarter pounder mm. topped with onions sautéed in butter, teriyaki sauce, and cheddar cheese brand. sauce on a rye bun. That, uh, actually sounds pretty good. It was last seen in 2004 and briefly again in 2014, but as of 2023, it remains off the menu. Angus Burger. Introduced in 2009, the Angus Burger, also known as mm. the Angus Third Pounder, which is more fun to shout That's at the driver speaker, Angus. was part of a long series of attempts to market higher-end menu items. But it seems like the public just isn't interested in Has buying fancy food from McDonald's. Veins are full of you can only spend so much money on a cheeseburger and until you start wondering why you're buying it from a clown. The Angus Burger was put out to pasture in 2013. <laughs> put out to pasture. <laughs> Although it's a staple of their menu now, there was a time when walking into a McDonald's and asking for a salad would have gotten you on the news, or perhaps thrown in jail. <laughs> that would explain why some of Mickey D's early attempts Michael, at serving Mickey healthier D's options sen just sen didn't salads work, are so gross. like the McSalad shakers, which were basically just I can't salads talk in today. a cup. Despite the good intentions, these precursors to McDonald's premium salads, which came in three flavors, Chef, Grilled Chicken Caesar, and Garden, were discontinued in 2003 mm. due to lackluster sales. BLT That's kind of sad. stands for bacon, lettuce, and tomato, and it's one of the most famous sandwiches in the universe. The McDLT stood for a McDonald's what? lettuce and tomato sandwich. I've and never heard of this before. By those who Do I run from wolf it. people because I'm a cat person and they're like big dog people? Yes. In 1984, the meat and bottom half of the I've McDLT seen things on websites with like wolf people that have made the really terrified so American cheese, I pickles, and clear. sauces. Both were then packaged into a specially designed two-sided styrofoam Make container to be assembled when you were ready to eat. The problem was that container was worse for the environment than a Mick oil spill. The company Wait, why is it the German's favorite sandwich? Burger in 1991. Now consider yeah, one like of the, the biggest Michigan product dog man, of all bro. time. The Arch Do not Deluxe fuck was around McDonald's that. attempt to sell a burger for adults. The burger was made with high-end ingredients, including a quarter pound of beef on a potato flour bun, bacon, dog, K10 bacon is leaf K10? lettuce, tomato, American K10. cheese, onions, ketchup, a secret mustard, and mayonnaise sauce. Ooh. But despite spending the modern equivalent of over half a billion dollars on its introductory advertising campaign, more than any fast food company had ever spent to promote a menu item, is the burger never took off with the public they pay and for was this? discontinued in 2000. The Son of Mac was a single patty version of the Big Mac, kind of like hamburger training wheels for the mm. Big Mac version of a Whopper Junior. That, as the name implies, most Whopper, people Whopper, who want a Big Whopper. Mac wanted, well, big. Be Possibly for that reason, gay. the Son of Mac never Have really caught on way. in the U.S. It was sold in Australia and New Zealand for a while, but has since been discontinued in those markets oh, as well. Man. But hope springs I always wish I could unhinge my jaw like a cartoon no character and eat in three Canada, burgers at the same found time. Is the kids mac. Like in Scooby-Doo. Big sandwich. Traditionally, a triple-double is when a basketball oh, player gets double. 10 or more points, assists, and rebounds in a single game. But McDonald's left many a sports fan confused when its triple-double burger had nothing to do with basketball and everything to do with Batman. What? A super heroic sandwich consisted mm. of three beef patties me, sorry, and two slices of cheese right served on the same type of sesame seed roll used for the McRib and was released oh as part God, of a promotion so for the 1995 blockbuster right Batman Forever. That's the one with Jim Carrey. So why Jesus. was it called the triple double when the whole point of the sandwich was to promote Batman? Well, McDonald's probably figured no one would want to order something called a Bat Burger. Whatever the case, what? it was discontinued after the movie left theaters they thought it in the literally late had summer bat of 1995. Meat? People are so dumb. What do you get when you cross a chicken McNugget? It's like how they're lane? trying to pass a thing, McDonald's like a law, to, to rename things like nugget. almond milk and coconut exactly milk to not have to milk in them. Onion rings and a convenient like not have milk shape. in the name. To this day, no one exactly it's technically not milk. They disappeared from test markets in the 1970s, and it's hurting the dairy that's industry. Given them an air of mystery and a cult following among fast food enthusiasts. Spanish omelet McDonald's bagel. McDonald's attempted to expand their breakfast offerings oh, and cash in on the growing I market bagel for breakfast sandwiches. bagels by releasing three delicious varieties. A ham, egg, and cheese bagel, a steak, egg, and cheese bagel, and the Spanish omelet bagel, which included sausage, milk an pepper almond? jack, and American cheese. It's not the and act egg of milking, you turn it into peppers. milk. You can That's get milk from anything. That's early in the morning to book a guaranteed trip to the restroom. Another poor seller, the Spanish omelet bagel was banished from the menu during the early 2000s. You can get apple milk. 
It's not to be confused with at McWings, a similar product that is still sold at many international McDonald's locations. Whoa, Mighty Wings weren't Mighty a big wings. seller for the fast food giant. In fact, after rolling out the bone-in chicken wings with spicy breading Wait, in is 2015, Apple Milk actually on Twitch franchises now? were forced to sell millions of discounted wings just to get rid of them all. Sounds like a mighty failure and a mighty pain in the ass. What? The Big 33 slash McJordan special was a quarter pounder with bacon and I want to get a special, special McDonald's meal, like the sweetie after basketball meal. players Larry Bird or Michael Jordan, depending on where you were eating. I would choose... In some parts of the country, it was called the McJordan special like a spicy in honor chicken of Jordan, sandwich, and in other and places, it was mine. called the Big 33 that would be my in special honor of Bird's set. jersey number, presumably because the McBird special just sounds like you're about to eat a McDonald's lamb. She said ass. It was ultimately discontinued in 1992, but a 20-year-old jug of the barbecue sauce sold on eBay for just a hair under ten thousand dollars oh my god borrowing its name from another discontinued menu item chicken mcbites fish mcbites were basically just nugget sized pieces Ew. of the mcdonald's filet of fish served with tartar sauce so I mean, it was like it eating a fried fish patty your parents had to cut up for you introduced just, in february of 2000 i don't really trust fish from any fast food restaurant i like fish i really love fish and chips and like fried fish and raw fish all kinds of fish, but from McDonald's. Mm. 2013, the menu item that was also called but know. equally bad, but also more fun like name, fish McDippers, sold so poorly that they were discontinued. It could have by character. April yeah, it could have a very special palette to it. In 1979, the first Star Trek movie hit theaters. ACDC released the album Highway, Highway to Hell, and McDonald's hell. released the chopped beef steak sandwich. Ooh, Despite being described steak. as the best sandwich McDonald's ever produced, this oblong burger on a bun with onions and barbecue beef sauce. Steak. In the early 1980s. Beef so what steak. happened? Well, the burger, which was served with a side of onion nuggets and only available between four and that nine p.m., cost like a little dollar twenty-nine at a time that a regular burger set you back forty cents. Nobody oh. wants to be seen paying extra for onion nuggets. Maybe that's why they only sold them at night. Oh, it's like. Caviar pizza was created to compete Something directly for with the Domino's elites. and Pizza Hut. And in that sense, it was a pretty dramatic failure. But the problem with pizza, if indeed pizza can have a problem, is that it takes a while to prepare. Since most people who offer fast food want their food entire fast, fucking this item buffalo? never really caught on with customers. And it was discontinued by around 2000. Except for some buffalo? reason or another, it's still available at a single location An in Orlando, buffalo. Florida. Maybe Mickey likes it. Good luck, Zandro. Introduced in 1993, the Mick Mick Lobster was a lobster roll served in a hot dog bun with shredded lettuce Ugh, and something called lobster Okay, fuck, lobster that sauce. is so disgusting. At nearly $6, Mick Lobster was Everything too expensive for the average McDonald's seemed like, customer. Oh, yeah, I want to eat that. That looks good. But this one? Precise experience a McDonald's I wouldn't even want to open that up. It was discontinued nationally oh, in 2017, the smell. but occasionally resurfaces like in the New England out, and Atlantic like Canadian pussy. regions, where lobster Ugh. is more abundant and less expensive. Fuck that. <gasps> Similar to their brief Whoa! flirtation with Mexican food, McDonald's also briefly tried getting it on with Asian cuisine in the form of Shanghai McNuggets. I'm kidding the it on? didn't really put their heart into the relationship. The Shanghai McNuggets mm, were essentially just regular nuggets. McNuggets sold with sweet and sour sauce, hot mustard, teriyaki sauce, <laughs> a fortune cookie, and chopsticks. Bro, this commercial looks so bad. 80s. I feel in like the, the commercial would have McDonald's like that really like on the nose stereotypical and the Mick Lee kind of music that they play attempt at a healthy you know burger, like which contained the one that's like mustard, da -da 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 tomato, a lettuce leaf and a reduced fat patty all in a bakery style roll and thanks to we ingredients watch like seaweed after this. Take and other bets. additives the sandwich was 91% the generic free, Asian the music the yeah. of going to McDonald's is ordering something that could stop your heart like a traffic light so the Mick Deluxe was discontinued in 1996 after flopping with the public the whole deluxe line followed Aww, I in feel 2000. Bad. Mix soup? Mix soup was essentially Campbell's soup in a McDonald's cup. And well, what about the that's milk pretty much job? all there is to it. It came in two flavors, chicken noodle and broccoli and cheese, and was served only at broccoli certain times of the year in colder gross. climates. Locations in places like Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Portugal still make soups available to customers, albeit very different ones. But American consumers have been forced to go mix soupless ever since this one disappeared from the menu. You know what fast food restaurant has really good soup? This I mean, this chili count as a soup? Pineapple, where a Wendy's has really good Really good chili. Be, was created as a vegetarian option for Catholics who didn't eat meat on Fridays. Oh. McDonald's CEO Ray Kroc thought this meatless burger would be Ray way Kron. more popular than the filet of fish, and he bet a fortune of money on it. But when he normally had a pretty sharp business sense, this is a bet he lost. Uh -oh. McDonald's voted with their wallets, and the filet of fish soundly trumped the McCoola. 
A McHula. Mixed Hawaiian persuasion pasta, kind of thing. Marinara sauce. Mixed spaghetti? And it hung around until the 1980s, at what? which point it was discontinued everywhere except Ooh. Orlando, Florida. Wait, the cheese really? isn't even melted. There's also a that looks like something that'd be in an in MRE. But that one is actually a completely different dish. That During looks like something 90s, you can make in an McDonald's easy bake oven. Bringing the product back. They tested mixed spaghetti in a few select markets and discovered, much like with mixed pizza, consumers Mc weren't pizza. biting. Mixed pizza! The Mick hot dog they had hot dogs? hot dogs? Why? Because according to Croc, you never really and if know you eat what's them, in a hot dog get... skin. He hated them so much, he banned them from ever being sold at his restaurant. What? But he made one crucial mistake. That's a fucking villain origin forever. story. After Croc's passing, Mick hot dogs <laughs> found their way into a few markets. <laughs> Bro, I'm just imagining literally as soon as he died, the body is still warm. There's like a boardroom full of McDonald's execs going, Yes! Yes! Hot dog is back, bros. Let's go. Only to fail miserably. Oh, they haven't shit. been seen on a McMenu since the late nineties. I want right a hot dog. Something. So, what do you think? Did you like any of these discontinued favorites? Yeah, I liked some Let of them. Thank you. Let us know in the comments you. below. And while you're at it, check out some of these other videos from Weird History Food. Imagine you're having like a really bad day. You're having like a panic attack, and you feel like your life is going to shit. And you just put on like the Watch Mojo lady videos, and just imagine that she's like comforting you. So what did you think? Do you think that would help? The rise and fall of the dollar menu. Wait, here, let's find the, what was it called? The Shanghai Nuggets? McDonald's Shanghai Nuggets commercial. I found it. This was 19, 1986. I do not, I do not stand by this commercial. I'm not endorsing this commercial. I'm just... This is like a historical thing. I need to witness it. East meets West with a fun new way to enjoy McDonald's Chicken McNuggets. Oh my god, the music. Chicken McNuggets Shanghai. Now you get plump, tender chunks of chicken. With three Oh, he's so bad at using chopsticks. Cantonese sweet and sour. Teriyaki. Uh, hot mustard. Hot mussy. chopsticks. And the McFortune cookie. Whoa! There was a McFortune cookie? Bro, bring this back. I think McDonald's is racist for not still having this on their menu, actually. Fuck, they didn't actually have the generic... Well, the music was pretty generic, but they didn't have the generic one. Wait, here's another one from 1987. I just heard about Chicken McNuggets Shanghai. It's this new thing from McDonald's and I thought, Oh my hey, god, look at the, the 80s hair. And chunks of chicken. Those feathered bangs oh, and the bump it. Look, chopsticks. Chopsticks. Anyway, we oh, have three chopsticks. oriental sauces. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> like Cantonese sweet and sour, teriyaki, Somewhere and in Japan, there's a guy who got like parasocially obsessed with this woman after seeing this commercial. Like if this ever aired overseas, there's like a guy that has like pictures of this one woman from this commercial like all over his apartment. And just has like terabytes of just like screenshots of her, maybe like photoshopped pictures of her looking pregnant. Yeah, me? <laughs> it's me? <laughs> Are you a random Japanese man who's at least like 40 years old? <laughs> sauces like Cantonese sweet and sour, teriyaki, and hot mustard. Oh, and get kawaii desu. You will meet it's so cute as he doesn't know how to use the chopsticks. Yeah. She looked at a man. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And hot mustard. The, the random Japanese man, he probably saw that and got like really upset at first, but then like rationalized it to himself as like she's just really friendly and not a slut. It's a good time for the oh, that's her dad, that's her dad. He wasn't that tall. <laughs> what the fuck was that commercial? <laughs> Wait, there's another one. Oh, this one looks cool. The quality is so shit. Hello, have you heard about new chicken McNuggets Shanghai? They come in nine pack and 20 pack too, with chopsticks. I make fortune cookie and three new I oriental want the sauces to choose from. There's Shanghai sweet and sour, oriental hot mustard, and teriyaki. Put the, the feed now? Wait, why? Enter to win a trip for two to what Shanghai. What the fuck? Okay, okay. Wait, you could win a... Why is it randomly speeding up? <laughs> what the fuck? Enter to win now. Has anyone actually won one of those things where it just That's randomly has like, oh, you can win a prepaid cell phone or like an all expenses paid vacation to somewhere or like a cruise? I feel like those were never even real. 
Even seven days? What do you mean? What are you talking about? What are you... What? It's just a McDonald's commercial. Hello. Have you heard about new chicken McNugget Shanghai? Oh, you guys are so rude. You guys are actually so fucking rude and dark-sided and twisted inside. You guys have nothing but fucking darkness in your soul. What the fuck is wrong with you? Whoa, 80s Australian Shanghai Chicken McNugget shows white people struggling with chopsticks? Cool. I have come many miles from inscrutable Orient to tell you of chicken... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was the 80s. It was the 80s. It was the 80s. McNugget Shanghai. The fucking gong noises. That is so over the top. That is so unnecessary, dude. That is inscrutable. Oriental sources: satay, black bean, and Shanghai sweet and sour. What the fuck? It's always a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. I agree. You see, McDonald's kind of transcends cultural boundaries. It brings people together. That's why they're so big. Oh, wait. Chicken Nuggets McDonald's commercial. Wait, what is this one? Ooh. I just want to see oh, that no. girl again. Escape the estate of us told us by McDonald's. What the fuck, bro? Honestly? The production of this commercial is really cool. I like how they have like the little platter with like the lotus flowers showing off the food and all the sauces and stuff. It looks really elegant and tasteful. Curry? Oh my god, the music is awful. Wait, he, he didn't even know how to use the chopsticks. He's pretending, he's pretending. He's throwing, he's throwing on purpose. Maybe he's just doing it to make Americans feel better about not being able to use chopsticks properly. Have you watched the Japanese one? Wait, which one? The new one or like, is there an old Japanese McDonald's commercial about chicken nuggets? There's so many... There's like an entire playlist of like uncomfortably racist McDonald's commercials. Is this the, this is the one with the girl? But I don't know if it's a different one. I think it's the same one. I just heard about Chicken McNugget Shanghai. It's this new thing from McDonald's, and I thought, hey, give it a try. Give it a hey, try. You can do it, Laura. Oh, she was later found dead. Look, chopsticks. <laughs> Chopsticks. We have three oriental I love that part when she's like, ooh, chopsticks, and then it's just like really clumsy and drops the chopstick. We have three oriental sauces, like Cantonese sweet and sour, teriyaki, and hot mustard. And get this, a McFortune cookie. <laughs> she's so quirky. It's a good time for the He wasn't that tall. <laughs> Is she a waifu? I don't know, you tell me. I wonder where she is now. She might be married. I hope she is married and has a very big happy family. Nine would be willing to take a week off and do a whole stream of these commercials. It will be worth it, I swear. <laughs> what do you mean you swear? You swear? <laughs> Fuck. How it's made McDonald's chicken nuggets. So we've been asking consumers for their questions about McDonald's food. Number one category by far, chicken McNuggets. Specifically, well, show me what's how in the it chicken comes McNugget. out. I want to see the pulpy, fucked up meat come out of the machine right now. No beaks. No. Wait, did he pass away? What the fuck? No, what happened to him? No, he was... He was one of the Mythbusters, that's right! He passed away? Bro... He died in 2020? 
What the fuck? I'm blaming McDonald's for this. No feet. No feet. No feet? Okay, Amy, so what are we seeing here? So this is our grinding oh. operation. This is 100% white meat chicken. So the exact same cuts that you saw previously. And then this is the actual the only grinding Only Buster who we... died so far? Why did you say so far? Use to grind the chicken. You know, this looks like yeah, a pretty... salutes in the chat for, for Mr. Grant. Pretty coarse grind, much coarser than you'd find, say, in a supermarket. Absolutely. We grind it to give you that really they're meaty all gonna texture. They're die? No, they're not. No, they're not. Okay. So there's still a couple more steps to go not through. Not before me. What is happening here? I can't stop watching it. It's like a it's lava kind of mesmerizing, lamp. <laughs> yeah. So this is the machine that combines what would all happen of if the you ingredients fell in there? together. Like this head first. The same chicken you saw earlier, like in Willy Wonka. Mixed with the chicken skin. I'd be and like that kid, Augustus Glue, with the chocolate river, secret? but with all this no, meat. No, they're not. So the full list is on the website. We get some of the ingredients are water, sodium phosphates, and food starch. Mm, I can't pronounce really those ingredients. It's probably bad nuggets. for me. Okay. And then it's also salt to really increase the flavor of the product. And finally, rosemary it's extract. It's got seed oils in it. A natural antioxidant that protects the flavor of the product. It's, it's going to femini feminize me too much. So this is the final blended product. Give me that picture. Let me see it. See this? Oh. This is what people think the final step looks like. But oh. it's got a completely different texture. Exactly. Oh, that he's bu he's like busting meat. the myth. Absolutely. I'm on so McDonald's side with that is, kind of stuff. This is where the nuggets are formed. Yes. People Each are trying to spread propaganda that McDonald's is like unhealthy and horrible uh, for you, but I think it's like a thin layer of bread. I think they're a good company that cares about some people. Of the flavor components such as celery and white pepper. Okay. And that's I can smell the white pepper. Yeah, actually. absolutely. I would um, eat the pink the McDonald's nugget goo. I would. Or a thicker batter, that's actually kind of really similar to how I make nugget. my clones. It's a blend of wheat flour, corn flour, starches, and leavening agents. And the leavening agents Ooh, aerate the batter. Look at that batter. Look at all those man, pixels. Amy. They had to pixelate First it because it was it too lewd. It smells so good in here. It does. So they've been through Ooh, the fryer here at the plant. Oh, meat paste. So as you can see, we only partially cook them here in the plant. And basically, we just we do that to set the tempura batter. Oh, oh, people so, are yeah, so fucking inside. stupid. So they see like a, a, a factory video of like yes. meat paste and, they and they're like, ew. When they get to the, so the this McDonald's. is really yes, what so goes into my in food? Ew, yeah. it's yeah. probably so bad. Bro, it's just meat that's ground up, you fucking dumbass. And they'll be bagged in box and on their way to the restaurant. God! Would you like to try one? We can go see Gina. Just fucking ground meat. She's cooking them up right now. Yeah. Uh, Will you be mad if I tell you I haven't had a. You're gonna go crazy when you find out what time. happens to your food when you chew it up and swallow it. And it goes down your so stupid Gina, esophagus. What do you do here? So we are in our sensory kitchen where we evaluate nuggets every hour off the line. So you eat oh, chicken bro, nuggets every hour. Fresh Absolutely. off the factory. All right, so what's a perfect nugget? So first we evaluate on appearance. So we want to make sure that it's a light golden brown. Okay. Make sure that yeah, it I've has Yeah, I've seen the video where the adult asks yeah. the kids, and like, you need to after have saying this, so do you still texture, want McDonald's okay. McNuggets? Still juicy. And yes. they're like, And then from a flavor yes. perspective, we want to make sure that you pick up on a chicken flavor as well as some slight pepper and celery. Are you kidding me, bro? Let's try one. Stop trying to get me to eat Brussels sprouts and broccoli. Sweet and sour. Uh-huh. Oh, so that's the experience yeah, it's that I chewed up for you, so you don't have to chew as much while you're eating it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So See, McNuggets are harmless. How they make the chicken McNuggets and exactly this guy is what goes fine after them. eating them. I know a lot of you are expecting I'm sorry, that was a bad pink joke. slime or the whole chicken it's beak not and claws pink and slime. everything. It doesn't have that's beak and claws case. in it. Yeah. This is actually a really Reality important video. Is that they're made with white meat chicken? There's no mystery. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've been there. It is what they say it is. Now, I know you've got a lot of questions. So what is I've got the a lot pink of questions slime too. From? So you keep asking and I'll find the answer. Have you tried the mambo sauce? No, what's that? Is that like a new sauce? Whoa, it's this guy that's in uh, Azerbaijan. He's cooking the fucking ostrich up. Wait. What happened to Amy and Sammy from Amy's Baking Company? Do you guys remember that episode of Kitchen Nightmares? Holy fuck. 20 foods you'll never buy again after knowing how they are made. How bubblegum is made. McDonald's secrets they wish you never knew about? There is a... Uh... 
disembodied head in the toilet in one of the restroom stalls. Food theory. That's just a theory. A food theory. It's like a Mondo burger. I think it expands the meat, but I'm also high. No. Skibbity toilet? There's a skibbity toilet in McDonald's? Uh, alert, alert. Skibbity toilet alert. Alert, 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 alert. Ice cream sandwiches. I think... We need to do one How It's Made video while listening to Aphex Twin. Aphex Twin, specifically... The album Selected Ambient Works. You have not lived until you've watched How It's Made with Aphex Twin in the background. It goes perfectly. Watch. Watch, 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 watch. Oh, is that the kind of ice cream that has like the, the chocolate in the bottom of the cone? Because normally when you get done with the ice cream, you're like, oh, now I just have to eat the cone. And I'm, I'm fine with that because the cone is also good and it has like a nice texture and it's very tasty. But I wish there was some more treats at the bottom. And then you get to the bottom and it's like, surprise, surprise, bitch. There's a little treat at the bottom for you. The main dry ingredients are powdered skim milk and plant-based stabilizers and emulsifiers. I want to be emulsified into an ice cream sandwich when I die. I want my ashes to be poured all over this factory and have like parts of me, like my bones, my flesh, just charred remains end up in ice cream sandwiches that will be distributed throughout the globe. Now they're being pasteurized. See, doesn't it go so well? It goes perfectly! It goes, it goes, it goes! So I can possess a new body? Yeah! <laughs> That's how I will spread my essence throughout the globe and I will remain eternal! Concentrated vanilla? How do you make concentrated vanilla? Do you send it to Sylvan Learning Center? <laughs> Do you give it Adderall? <laughs> do you yell at it when it's, when it's at the dinner table trying to do its math homework and make it cry? <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, what is happening? They're cutting it. They're depositing the ice cream sandwiches. Oh my god. Yeah, I would eat the cookie of an ice cream sandwich just by itself. Oh my god, ice cream sandwiches are the best, especially the Neapolitan kind. With the strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Why is that kind of ice cream called Neapolitan? Is this the part where we trauma dump because I got an alcoholic parent? Yeah, we can do trauma dumping while watching how it's made while listening to Avix One. I think that'd be pretty nice. We should do that weekly. A group therapy session while watching food machinery and nice music. <laughs> Sometimes I uh, wake up at 10 a.m. on a, a weekend, no school, and my mom would be in the kitchen making a, a vodka coke. And I, I thought it was so normal growing up. I thought, like, once you become an adult, you can just, like, get drunk whenever. Its English language name arose in the 19th century as a reflection of its presumed origins in the cuisine of the Italian city of Naples. And the many Neapolitan immigrants who brought the frozen desserts, this is Spinoni, Johnny Soprano, the Italian flag. Wait, I remember someone told me that before. It is supposed to represent the Italian flag. Oh my god. Wait, this goes exactly with the music. They're impregnating them to the music. Pomp. All the ice creams will be impregnated. Impregnated ice cream.
What kind of ice cream treat is this? It's like a little pre-packaged sundae treat. A sundae treat, like the kind of sundae treat my mom would have when she'd have uh, three vodka Cokes by 2 p.m. Oh, it's Chapman's. <gasps> is this the kind of ice cream you can eat with a little wooden spoon? <gasps> oh my god. That does look like a good brand. I trust this brand. I'm gonna continue to buy this brand. Is there a brand of like random stuff that you just trust? Like when it comes to like dishwasher soap or... I don't know, hand soap, cleaning materials, toilet paper. I'm trying to do a brand survey. Bowling Enter balls, how Boba it's Watashi made. Milk Chip no Disu 36 a caliber Funexo. Hope you're having a good stream night. What? Thank you, thank you, Mr. Duke. We we're just watching how it's made with Apex Twin in the background. It's going pretty good. Cha 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 Charmin, extra soft. I like Charmin too. I like the commercials. I think it's funny when the bears wipe their asses. Funny and kind of sexy. Not super brand loyal, but if the price is comparable, I tend to go MSI for computer stuff. Well, you should go, uh, Corsair. Uh, no reason. I love when the bears shake their asses at the screen and then wipe... Wipe their tender little post-shit anuses on some toilet paper, some nice soft toilet paper. Oh, so this is how a bowling ball is made. All these bowling balls have no idea, but one day they're going to be used by people from all over the place, all over the world, throwing them down a bowling alley, maybe making a strike. Or maybe they'll never get used. Maybe there'll be that one bowling ball on the rack that just never gets used because people don't Maybe it's too heavy for most people, or maybe it just doesn't look cool enough, so it just kind of sits there and gathers dust. Wait, is that clay? Oh, they're drilling the... Are they drilling the holes into it already? Before it's even done? What the funk? They'll never get fingered. It's okay. That's the weight in the middle. Oh, so inside a bowling ball, there's like a, like a five to 12 pound weight and then they build the shell around it. I'm stupid as fuck. I always just thought they just made the shell, like the entire thing heavier. Like they filled it with more like sand or something. So it spins cause it creates like centrifugal motion. It's like a kinder egg! You could break it open and get the prize inside! If I were to murder someone, I think it would probably be with a bowling ball. Like an eight pound bowling ball. It'd be funny. Like, I would tie someone up at the end of a bowling, like, uh, alley. And they'd be like, no, no, please, no, no. Just like, no, 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 okay. Not, I'd tie them up and have like holes built into the floor so it's just like their head. Maybe several people that I dislike. Just have them like under the floor with just their head coming up through the like a hole in the floor. So they're the bowling pins. And then I would practice bowling on them. I'd take like a bowling ball and go like whoosh, practice my form. And they'd be like, no, 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 no. And I'd get a gutter ball and they'd be like, oh, phew. they'd be relieved because the ball didn't collide with their face and cause extreme like damage to their brain and their skull. And their teeth. But then that would just make me even more mad because I feel like embarrassed that I got a gutter ball. So I'd try even harder. No survivors. How many tries would it take? Am I allowed to have the bumpers on? Putting down the bumpers to murder someone. <laughs> yeah, and I'd, I'd make it like... Galaxy bowling. I'd turn off all the lights and have glow-in-the-dog stuff. 
So it'd be even scarier for them because they can't really see that well because it's so dark in the room. <laughs> they don't even like see the ball coming. They can just like hear it because <laughs> I didn't use a glow in the dark ball. <laughs> While listening to Crazy Frog. Bang, bang. Nyan, are you okay? I feel like this is you've been discussing violent fantasies more often as of late. I mean, it's fine. It's hypothetical, but... Uh... I I got COVID. Sawi, I got COVID. I have long COVID. I think it was the dog of wisdom. I was really calm. A little bit sleepy when I started the stream. A little bit brain fogged out. But once I started watching the dog of wisdom video, I feel like I've been tilted. I feel like part of me is missing. Guammy Awards. How it's made. Oh. You think I could win one of these one day? How do you get a Grammy? It's for music, right? Or is it for musicals? Did you guys see the trailer for that new Mean Girls movie? Why are they making that? What is the point? Just keep singing. I'll try. I mean, I'm getting up there in age. I don't think I'm... I'm... I'm too old. I'm too old to be an up-and-coming musical act, I think. Too old to be an idol. A pop idol. Yeah, it's like a movie based on the Mean Girls musical. I didn't even know there was a Mean Girls musical. It looks weird. Like, it just looks like alternate universe Mean Girls. You're never too old. Look at Cher. But didn't she get her start when she was really young? You can be old and be a pop star, but only if you started when you were young. There's like no huge mainstream pop girls who started before the age of like... Who started after the age of 30. Sia doesn't count. Her music is garbage. She is like a one-hit wonder. Do you, do you still hear Sia on the radio? Gwen Stefani fell off too. Also, she started when she was a teenager and no doubt. So it doesn't count. Jesus, you just knew didn't have to kill her? I've just never liked Sia. I'll be real. She just weirds me out. I just, I didn't like how she like had that, that girl from Dance Moms represent her in every music video. That was so fucking weird. This, this little, this little kid is the rep, the true representation of me. She was like using her as like a VTuber model because she was, she didn't want to like show her face or like be in her music videos for extremely pretentious reasons. It was strange as fuck. And her music is mid. Except for Chan Chandelier. That one was okay. I also just don't like the way she sings. She's just like... It's not like the kid could have said no. Yeah, I mean, like... The, her agent was like her mom. I'm her less weird concerned dance for you mom. and more worried about our boy. I mean, uh... Hey, Nyan, you mind if you take our lord out of town for like a few weeks? Away from you. Bro, if I was gonna kill anyone, if you don't even insinuate that I'd kill my fucking twin flame, my one true love. That actually makes me upset. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't like it when people joke about me being like a fucking psycho boyfriend killer or something. You guys are gonna make me depressed. I was already having a bad day. You have to make I'm bulletproof. Nyan can't hurt me, that. oh pink cat bad pink cat bitch. <laughs> Bro, I try my best to be like so nice and so chill as like a a person who has a boyfriend online because I know that if I do anything wrong, people are going to be like, Ugh, girlfriend bad, you know? It makes me sad. <laughs> I hate when, when like, okay, there's like a couple online and like the boyfriend says something nice about their girlfriend and everyone's just like whipped, whipped, simp, oh. Like, you can't, like, say something nice about your partner without being whipped. I 
don't get it. I'm just jealous. And if you say something nice about like your friend, people are like, "Oh, so cute. Oh, you're so supportive of your friend. You like your friend a lot." I'm going to become a fucking militant feminist if you guys aren't careful. I'm going to become a fucking vegan burning man ayahuasca journeyman. You look good with dreads. No. No. And I'd, I'd have like the hemp lotion on. That used to be huge back in the day, hemp lotion. Everyone in my middle school used it because they were like, it's like, it's like weed, but it's lotion. So you feel kind of like badass when you have it on. Because it's like kind of like an illegal drug. Whoa, glass blowing craftsmen. I love glass blowing, but it makes me so hungry. I just want to eat the molten glass. Get cornrows, please? No! <laughs> that is not for me to... to... enjoy. <laughs> Next, you're gonna tell me to get like a kanji tattoo. That means like... I like show it to everyone and I say like, oh, it means harmony and peace, but it actually means like barbecue oven. I would shave my head. If I... If I dishonored everyone, I would shave my head. And make it up to everybody. You think it means fat bitch, but it actually says beautiful flower? How embarrassing would that be? They're making a horse out of glass. Who said they were allowed to do such a thing? That's messed up. He's getting sweaty as fuck making this horse. Whoa. Ah, what's that? It's... Nine. When you become a militant feminist, what would your VTube model look like? My VTube model would look really ugly and dumb. And I would hold up a sign that says, I'm a dumb idiot. And my hair would be blue because feminists always have blue dyed hair. And I'd have a toggle to make my model look really angry, but in a dumb way because I'm saying angry and dumb opinions. Why did they painstakingly sculpt a tiny cock on the horse? They didn't need to do that. And it was probably difficult, too. This is glass blowing. It's art? No, I meant tiny in regards to like... The entire sculpture is tiny. It's like a... It's like the size of an iPhone. <laughs> Fuck, I mean... <laughs> an iPhone, a, a mini iPhone, a mini iPhone. Like an iPhone mini, an iPod. That looks like a honeycomb. I want to see do a female horse now. Whoa, slow down. It was its tails? You're seeing through the horse where its tail was? No, you're not. It, it has they a dick and balls. They were blowing that glass if you catch my drift. Bro, it, it shows like a close-up. It's not the tail. It has... Look, that's not the tail. The tail is coming out right here. This rotating glass horse with Apex One in the background is just such a mood. Joke. Please just don't take away Fortnite privileges, please, Miss Neanners. Because you made that joke, I am going to kill Ethel. <laughs> Wait, no, I was talking about that too. I was talking about that too. I don't, I don't even want to joke about that. I don't like jokes like that. I'm being completely serious. 
I can't like someone I like care about that much. I can't even like joke about causing them harm. It just makes me sad. It's like thinking about like kicking a dog. I can't even like say that out loud without like tearing up a little bit. Bro, imagine like the pain you feel when you accidentally step on your dog's tail and it's like it looks at you like you betrayed it, but at the same time the dog has this sadness in its eyes where it kind of blames its itself. Even though it's totally not its fault, the dog never did anything wrong in its life. But you feel like so fucking horrible about what you've done. And at the same time that the dog is like apologetic. Like the mm -hmm. dog is sorry that it got in the way when it's not its fault at all. Just thinking about that actually makes me want to cry. They're innocent. They've never done anything wrong in their lives. That happened to you earlier? Oh my god. That's actually the number one reason why I'm hesitant to get a dog. Because I know that one day I'm going to accidentally step on its tail or on its paw. And it's going to make that <laughs> noise and look at me like it did something wrong. Like, oh no, what did I do wrong? Why did you hurt me? I'm sorry if I did something wrong. Fuck. I'm legitimately going to fucking cry. Mm. If I ever do that, I'm gonna actually, like, take a hammer and break all of my fingers or toes. Right after. You're on. Let me check something real quick. Is that gonna be a tropical fish? Oh, my period starts in, like, seven days. That makes sense. Whoa, what are they doing to the fish? Yeah, for WinRAR. I'm downloading WinRAR. I'm getting the free trial. Whoa, they gave it dick sucking lips. What is all this? Is that the glass? Like the glass powder? Is it it's just like powdered glass, right? And then they they cook it down. And they sling that shit onto a pipe. I didn't know Aphex One got this loud. Oh yeah, is it loud? Or do you mean loud as in like, damn, this shit's off the hook. This shit is litty. This shit is Kawabunga dudes. Where is the fish cock? Says Life Subtractor. Now don't be hasty. God will give you what you need eventually. Just have patience, young Padawan. This guy looks cool. He looks like the wicked emoji. Whoa! Are you supposed to do that? Or are they getting silly with it? Whoa. Oh my god, they're putting like a pattern with the glass onto it. It does look like they're making like Jolly Rancher candy. <gasps> Dude. Bro. Do you think we could do a stream where we go to like a glass blowing class? That would be so fun. What the fung? <laughs> FTM. Fantastic machinery. Oh, they're wrapping it around a large pipe. What are they making? It's like a ring. Mm. Oh? Oh! Oh! The Elden Ring. Is this how it was made? Oh! <gasps> Bro, did you see how that molten glass just plopped down into that mold? Oh my god. That looks delicious. Actually, I don't think we should do a stream with this because I might get tempted to eat all the molten glass. I think that'd be TOS. That looks like the amber that that mosquito was in in Jurassic Park. Look at them proudly showing off their little... their silly rings. It looks like a baby toy. Oh... What is it called? What did I name this thing? Oh, what's he up to now? He's blowing it? I like when they blow into it and it goes... Vroom. 
Oh, and they're pinching off the end. This is how they shape it. They have to painstakingly shape it. Oh, he's opening it up. What is he making? Is it going to be a glass? Like a wine glass? It looks like a glass or a cup or some kind of chalice. It's gaping. It's gaping. Oh, yeah. Spread it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys. Oh, my God. It looked like it just shit. <laughs> Do not say it. I, I'm not even going to look at chat. Glass. They're making a penis. They're making a molten glass penis. On guard. If I was in this factory, I'd be playing chicken with the molten glass. Just like do like a jousting tournament with molten molten glass at the end of your pipe and just run towards each other. Whoa. Kind of looks like the Lance of Longinus, the one that they used to poke and prod at Jesus. And tickle his little belly when he was up on the cross. The Roman soldiers were like stabbing him with it and he was like... <laughs> <laughs> like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Hot dog and mustard. Whoa, it's so spinny. It looks like a little... A thing from Roller Coaster Tycoon, one of the slides that you can put in your park. I feel sick. Like, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Did you drink water today? Yeah, I'm on my, my second, actually third bottle of water. And I had gamer subs. Maybe it's the gamer subs caffeine. I think I speak for all of us when I say that you are one of the coolest streamers. You can watch a video go, I want to do that. And you actually have the equipment and availed yourself to do so. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm not one of the coolest streamers. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just small potatoes. I could go to a glass factory and eat all the glass. I could. You think I could? You think they'd let me eat all the glass? All the glass? Did you take your schizo pills? Yes. Whoa, it kind of like drooped a little. It looks like a hot dog with a ribbon around it. Yeah, it's getting a little too big. It's uh, oh no. It's on its refractory period. It went, it went flaccid. Wait, was it supposed to be like that? Fuck, I hate how every YouTube video now... Like, how do you turn this shit off? If there's an old YouTube video, it's always gonna have this shit overlaid on it, like, on the last 10 seconds, and you can't see the rest of the video because it's all in the way. Did they do that on porpoise? It's like a... Is it an artistic statement? Wait, what was that last one? Would... Wood destroying machine. Oh, they were just fucking around in the glass factory. They wouldn't. Yeah, what happened to YouTube annotations? I think it, they got rid of them because people kept like writing horrible things in them, like writing slurs and shit. This is why we can't have nice things. Yeah, it's YouTube that overlays the the little thumbnails at the end of every video. Oh my god, is it really gonna destroy that entire stump? No fucking way, bro. Ain't no way, bro. Wait, the music is covering up the sound of the crunch? Let's listen. <laughs>
guys seen? They should put me like on a table with my mouth open and I'll just eat all the wood poke. Like a beaver. Nom 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 nom. Is that the machine making that, like, otherworldly scream noise? The one that's like... Whoa! Where are the stumps going? They're going to hell. Oh, you know what's best to watch industrial shredding wood videos? Like, the best kind of music? This kind of music. destroyed the whole thing. And so the trees that grew so tall over hundreds of years, undisturbed, torn down and reduced to ash. Maybe one day their journey will begin again. It's an allegory. One day, the McTriple Double will come back. Oh. Oh. That guy operating that crane probably has a really nice family he goes home to at the end of a long day of work. Takes off his boots, covered in mud. Just relaxes on the couch with a nice cold beer. His wife comes in and kisses him on the cheek. And his kids are up in their rooms playing. It's almost bedtime. They miss their dad. They don't see him that much, but when they do see him, he always has a nice, warm, tired-looking smile on his face. Because he loves them. He really does. Every day at work, he works hard. He's working hard for them. He's working hard so he can keep them smiling and make sure they have a good future. All this work, it's, it's tough. It's wearing him down. Mind, body, and spirit. But you know what? He wouldn't have it any other way because when he comes home and he sees the smile on his, his wife and kids' faces, he knows he's doing it for a good reason. It's all going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it one day when he goes to his kids' college graduation ceremony. I graduated from Harvard. I did it. Or during his daughter's wedding day, he walks her down the aisle. He paid for that shit with his wood chopping job. Just operating his crane, dropping in the stump one by one into the machine. It's all worth it. Man on his deathbed, he's gonna say he's proud. I want to eat wood chips so fucking bad. <laughs> I wish I was a fucking beaver. <laughs> Wait, do they have those videos where it's like... Oh! I want to see the ones where they, like, circumcise the log. Yes! Look at all the molds getting shot out. Look at that. These industrial machines are literally monsters destroying our planet. 
So fucking based. Look, they're kind of like dinosaurs. With long necks. Log harvester? Uh... Log harvester accident video. Best of logging 2017? Oh my god, this music is so fucking epic! Oh, they're shredding it! Oh my god! I feel like something positively epic is about to happen. Uh, good sirs, make sure you're seated. We're about to witness the history of the internet. Holy fuck. Bro, I'd be so scared if I had to be responsible for all those logs. Look at them shred it! They're circumcising it! Look at it go! <gasps> Komatsu-chan, my favorite industrial machine! Excuse me, that's a big truck. It's not it just not any big internet. truck, it's a tiger cat. Get it right! Wait, this is the most replayed moment in this video. I wonder how fucking epic it is. <laughs> me when I'm when I have 50 tabs of sexy porn videos open at 2 a.m. when I'm jerking my pathetic stupid wiener. character has like a, a lay motif that plays during like a scene that's important to them what would be your theme song what would be like your battle song if you're a boss a boss in a game california girls gay bar blade soundtrack track one uh based ram ranch bmx x gonna give it to you yakety sax i'd write it myself benny hill theme who do you think will play Link in the Zelda movie? Hmm... Maybe... Chris Pratt? Or... Maybe... Willem Dafoe? Or... I feel like... Most likely it's probably gonna be like someone like... Timothy Ch Chalamet. You know who would be really good at Zelda? That one girl with her... The eyes that are like really wide apart. What's her name? Uh, Natasha Nyaners? Brad Pritt? Anya Taylor-Joy! Yeah, yeah, she'd be a good- she'd be a good Zelda. And... Uma Thurman? Oh... Michelle Obama? Barack Obama is Lincoln, Michelle Obama is Zelda? Oh yeah, that's right, she was Peach. She should just be literally every blonde-haired video game protagonist ever. Bro, if they make a Resident Evil 4 movie, she could be the president's daughter lady. That's like, Leon, help! But instead of being a helpless uh, damsel in distress, she could be a like go-getter, like tough tomboy girl. 
to be more like inspirational for for girls everywhere. What are they gonna do to this little rat? I'm scared. What's gonna happen? Are they gonna save it before it's too late? Yeah, they should make her a hardcore badass, go get them like tough, like strong, independent girl. It doesn't actually need to be escorted. She should actually escort Leon. No. No. What's happening? My... My home. What are these large green monsters doing in my home? They're destroying everything. I quick. I have to tell the others. <laughs> That's the sound of him like running away. He runs back into his den. And he's like... Mom, mother, father. There's large green monsters destroying the forest. We have to get out of here before it's too late. Oh, I'm tired of your tall tales, Mustelid. Now, hurry, we're go you're going to be late for supper. We're eating berries that I harvested earlier. No, Mother, you don't understand. There's large okay, monsters that are destroying going. everything. Our home is being destroyed. We have to stop them. And then the truck comes and just like crushes their entire little hole in the ground. Fern Goalie scared the fuck out of me as a kid. I think that traumatized me forever. <sighs> Wasn't Robin Williams in Fern Goalie? Oh! Eco Log. Remember? Bro, 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 bro. Remember when I said we should start a log log? Like, for people to log the shits that they take every day, like, in the Discord? Like, a spreadsheet where everyone would, like... For each shit that they take, they would comment on the viscosity of it, how uncomfortable it was, the size, consistency, etc, etc. And I was just joking about it, because... I, I kind of like to joke about poop and stuff, because I feel like it's kind of funny. But... Someone actually did that. They actually just started paying attention to their bowel movements. And that man is Albert Einstein. But no, seriously, someone actually in the, in the Discord started doing that after I joked about it. And they actually discovered something like a real health problem. And they went to the doctor. And it helped them. Yeah, they were doing it for like a week and they discovered that they had a... I don't know what the specific health problem was, but they ended up going to the doctor and got treatment for it. I saved their life. So the next time someone tries to, uh, no pun intended, give me shit for talking about poop literally every stream, remember, me talking about shit was the difference between a random person on Discord being alive and being dead. I literally saved them. Now watch this drive. Look at him backing up. He's backing up so casually. Log champ. <laughs> When I say Pog Champ, I'm not talking about the Twitch emote Pog. I'm talking about Pog as in P-A-W-G. Fat ass white girl. Look at them pick up the log. I think I have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, if your bowel habits change, get it checked out. Total Biscuit talked about how he ignored his... Better to be safe Bro, than sorry. Seriously, like... No joke, it's actually important to pay attention to that shit. No pun intended. It's actually yeah, that's important! that's true. I started keeping a log log and started noticing once a week it was the size of a horse. Anyways, my name is Kenneth. I work for Boeing. Oh, do you live in Washington by any chance? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Mr. Hands was my father. <laughs> Call me Kenneth. Oh. Is this video supposed to make you think like that this forest station is bad because of the really epic sounding intense music? Or are you supposed to think it's badass? Because I can't tell. It's kind of like one of those illusion pictures that you can like look at it any kind of way. Like it either it's like an old woman or a young woman. 
Right now, I'm looking at this twinch. It's brothers. You can download one of these and reverse them so they're flying trees. <laughs> Fuck! I wish... I wish I could do that within literally one minute and nobody would know that I'm setting up the bit through hearing me making rapid keyboard and mouse clicking noises. The artist leaves a meaning to the viewer? Yeah. Someone better get me away from that debranching machine, otherwise I'm gonna fuck it. No, you do not want to do that with the debranching machine. Trust me, bro. Oh, dang. Look at them. I guess they're done. Are they going home? Job well done, boys. Great job. Whoa, harvester. Best of logging. Recovering a stuck roller. What are they gonna do to it? Help me, I'm stuck! Oh no, they're so stuck. They're so stuck in the mud. Here's the most replayed part. We got this? Aww! Bro, dogs must get so happy when they see a tree that's not planted in the ground and it's just like laying there because it got like chopped down. Because it's like a really big stick. Another dog! Dog alert! Everything freezes. Hey, Dave, you grab that starting fluid right under his seat. All right, go for it. What is yep. he spraying on that? Is it like defroster? What is that? I want to see the moment where they get it on stock. Starting fluid? The they need to put starter fluid on like a... So what is that part of the vehicle? The camarada? Ethanol starting fluid. Wait, bro, there's a guy in this video that's literally just a floating head. What the fuck? Do you see him? It's just a floating head. In jeans. Did he get into like an, an accident with one of the wood chopping machines? Oh god. Oh, it makes me kind of nervous to see dogs just running around all these heavy machinery things. I kind of want to change my voice so that I sound like I'm belting every time I talk. You were either too fast and I was catching you. Getting kind of bored of like my voice in general. I think I want to change it up again. I'm just gonna start talking different. Yeah, like the vomit TPS. Yeah. Like the. Gonna go even higher pitch? Nah, I'm kinda tired of having a high pitched voice. I don't know. I don't wanna go for something low. Kinda low and slow. Like a slow cooker. Ultra deep pitch? I wanna sound like the brown note whenever I talk. Were you ever an outdoors person? I miss hunting with my redback friends. I used to love going camping all the time. Use a voice changer to sound like Obama. I think impersonating a previous president would get me in some hot water. <laughs> and I'm already not on good terms with the US government, I'll be real. Yeah, I used to deforest with my bros all the time. I actually used to chop wood. We'd have to go chop wood and gather logs and sticks and stuff to make a bonfire. Uh... Sometimes, like, I think about pranking people when I go into a Discord call by talking in a completely different voice and saying how scared they get. Or maybe... Whoa, bro! It'd be so cool if I went into the Discord call and just started doing, like, every single cartoon voice impression within 10 minutes. I think it, it'd blow their minds and I can make a YouTube video out of it. Like, a girl joins Discord call and surprises everyone by being able to speak fluent Chinese while doing several different character impressions. I just go in and I do, like, Chinese Picky Pie, Chinese SpongeBob, Chinese Bugs Bunny, 
Chinese! Chinese Bugs Bunny! Chinese! Oh, I can't think of more characters! Please, guys, help! I can't think of more cartoon characters! I'm gonna have a fucking mental breakdown! Oh, fuck! I need more cartoon characters! I need more Chinese cartoon characters! Please, 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 please! Chinese Donald Duck! Good, good, good! I'd be like... Chinese Spongebob! I already said that one! I already said that one! Chinese... Oh, Marvin the Martian? Chinese... Oh, 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 Chinese Jackie Chan? He's already Chinese. It has to be someone who wasn't Chinese before, but now they're Chinese. It's like the Chinese version of them. Holy fuck. Chinese Timmy Turner. Chinese Timmy Turner. Chinese Hey Arnold. Chinese Courage the Cowardly Dog. Chinese um, Ronald McDonald. Chinese Jimmy Neutron. Chinese Chinese Phineas and Ferb. Oh, Chinese Garfield. <laughs> Okay, become Chinese subliminal. Like, learn Chinese. Learn Chinese language subliminal. Mandarin Chinese fluency? Okay, this one is scary. What does Garfield usually say? I'll do Chinese simplified because I'm not sure if I'm ready for like traditional Chinese. I feel like it's more advanced. And I'm not very smart. It says, where's my lasagna, John? Where's Learn Mandarin extremely fast, memorize new words, amazing memory. Okay. What a cow quam yen tell you hands and ali. What a cow quam yen tell you hands and ali. What a cow quam yen tell you hands and ali. What a cow quam yen tell you hands and ali. Did I say that right? Does anyone speak Chinese? How good was that? What a cow quam yen tell you hands and ali. What a Fuck! What the word for lasagna? Lasagna? Whoa, the word for lasagna is so complex. I wonder what each of the like characters mean. Like, do they represent like each part of the lasagna? Like the noodles, the meat, and the sauce? Kao kuan mian tiao. Kao kuan mian tiao. Is that right? Kao kuan mian tiao. 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 How was that? Be honest, how was my pronunciation? Kao kuan mian tiao. Kao kuan mian tiao. And Chinese awesome powers too? What does he say? Like, groovy baby yeah? Um, yeah baby yeah. Groovy. Shi de bao bei shi de. Tai bang la. Tai bang la. Tai bang la means groovy. Tai bang la. Shi de bao bei shi de. 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 Tao bang la. Tao tai tai bang la. How do you do like an a uh, fucking British accent while speaking Chinese and something like awesome powers? Shi de bao bei shi de. I feel like if I pronounce it slightly wrong, I'm gonna say something completely different. Wait, there's I think there's a Chinese person in here. Am I doing it right? Ni Ni Hao Okay, we got Chinese. Yeah? Wait, really? I'm actually doing it good? I'm Mao Mao. Tai Bang La. Tai Bang La. Shi de Bao Bei Shi de. Tai Bang La. Tai Bang La. Tai Bang La. 
I always get confused with like pitch pronunciation stuff because I get worried about like if you say something with an excited tone, isn't it kind of tough? Like, what if you accidentally change the pronunciation by saying it like too excited sounding because it like makes your voice pitch up on certain parts? Like, how do you say something angrily or like happy? Shide baube shide. Hi bangla. Okay, in SpongeBob, what does SpongeBob say? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And then he does the laugh. 我准备好了。我准备好了。我准备好了。我准备好了。我准备好了。我准备好了。我准备好了。我准备好了。我准备好了。我准备好了。我准备好了。我准备好了。我准备好了。我准备好了。我准备好了。我准备好了。我准备好
，辣椒热狗，辣椒热狗，辣椒热狗，辣椒热狗。Chili dog. It's just like it's just like a mini mall. How to find your true singing voice? Fake voice versus true voice. I already found my true voice. My true voice is Chinese Cartman. <sighs> what the fuck were we doing before we? What the fuck were we even doing? I feel like the last hour, just like, I close my eyes and I open them and an hour has passed. I don't know what we were talking about or what we were doing and what the reason for anything was. I was gonna game? Oh yeah! Question, quick question. Ding 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 ding, quick question, quick question. I have about two hours until the party animals collab- Oh my god, I have to buy and insult party em emeralds. Emeralds. Party Eminals. Fears to Fathom has been on my list to play for quite some time. It is a spooky game. I've been looking forward to it. Two questions. Number one, is it good? Is it good? Is it spooky? Number two, how long will it take me to beat it if I'm not fucking around? Okay, we have a, a Party Eminals collab. I've never played Party Eminals before, but I really want to. I heard it's really fun. We have a party animals club with me, Meriwether, Lumi, Uniho, Ethel, and Frederick Knudsen. Frederick Knudsen. From down the rabbit hole. He is also a VTuber. In Astraline. Install it in practice? Do you think they'd be mad if I practiced? I've never played Potty Eminos. Wait, so... Fears to Fathom Ironbark Lookout. Is it good and how long is it? There's a tutorial? Wait, really? Can you not play with other people until you complete the tutorial? Party Eminos. Okay, I'll buy it right now. Good in like an hour. Like an hour. Four hour tutorial. Tutorial? Wait, this party animals game sounds serious if it has a four hour tutorial. You're telling me? Are you talking to me? You feel lucky, punk? Do you? Do you? Do you feel lucky? Are you talking to me? Ooh, ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. Well met. Well met. Well met. Ethel plays a booba game to get to play a cocktail game, like Bartender Simulator, where you make cocktails and shake them up. That actually sounds kind of fun. No, I would not play a cock co game. That would feel weird as fuck. Unless it was that one game where you're literally a wiener and you slam into the other wieners and it makes a fart noise. What's that called again? I can't stream that on Twitch because it's like... I think a Hololive YouTuber played that. Like they played it on stream, like on YouTube. Genital Jousting, yes, that's the name of it. It's coach. Wait, so you can play that on YouTube but not on Twitch? Oh yeah, Bay played it. That's right. Yeah, and she had to do like a ritual afterwards to cleanse the stream because it was way too lewd, way too much lewdness. Jesus, Bay, why does it have to make it so lewd? I'd play that game if I could. Gosh, maybe I should just uh, delete everything and join Hall Live. How mad would you guys be if I did that? There's like. If there was an alternate universe where they would accept me if I ever did apply, because in this universe there's no fucking shot they would. At least three mad. If I just like, one day I was just like, Sorry guys, I, I gotta go. I'll see you on the other side somewhere. And I showed up and I'm like, a gerbil VTuber in Hololive. And I'm completely different. 
Can I talk in a voice like I'm burping the entire time? It would be too restricted for your personality? Yeah. I'd have to be professional and like responsible and respectable and shit. I can't do that. <laughs> I'd become a capybara VTuber who smells like shit. Bro, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. No, no shade to anyone who joins Hall Life because I think like whatever you want to do with your career in life, whatever you think is fun and nice for you, I fully support it. And I wish you the best, but me personally, even in an alternate universe where they would accept me and I didn't have like several VODs of me talking about picking a shit and looking at free inflation art and all that kind of stuff, even though they did accept me, I don't think I could do it. I have too much emotional attachment to my, my shitty persona that I've had for like 10 years on the internet. I'd feel sad. When is Gura contract up so you can corrupt her? No! How dare you say such a thing about Gura? It, it's pronounced Gura. Gar Gura. Not Gura. I need... I need to stretch my legs. I need to stretch my wings. You would be a purple dog girl who doesn't go on long rants about singers. Yeah. I'd be... I'd be okay, I think. I'd be okay, but part of me... Part of me would feel, like, sad. You know? Like, I'm just always pink cat. I'll never not be a pink cat. I just could not leave that behind. I think even when I'm 80 years old, I'm gonna be a pink cat. You have the Nendoroid of Gargura? It's really cute. I kind of want to get it myself. Here, let me do the party animals tutorial. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! Party animals is so loud. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I did not expect it to be so loud. Okay, I'm agreeing to the terms. Hold on, let me put this up on the screen for you guys. So, how hard is party animals? Does it get really sweaty? Like, is the competition fierce? Do I have to get worried? Do I have to get scared? Do I have to focus on the game, like, really hard? Recreate. It's loading? It's loading? Oh. Do you recommend controller or keyboard? Because I have a controller with me right now. Welcome to the research facility. All your behavioral data will be videotaped for further research. Please follow I'm totally the because your mouse is busted. The process. Hey, it's trying its best, okay? Just so you know, during the experiment, if you get your head squashed by the door, the insurance company just can't care less about it. Now, little pup, let's test your observation abilities. <laughs> Take a look around. I'm a little pup! I'm a nice. little pup in a cage! Let me just uh, open this cage for you. Let me out! Let me out! Oh. I'm so fat and furry. I'm a fatty bitch. Oh, the controls are kind of wonky. Releasing Terminator 3000. Meow! Terminator 3000 burp, 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 burp. Defense system now online. Come on, run faster. I'm failing the tutorial. Illegal intrusion detected. Terminator 3000. Hurry, 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 hurry. Go, 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 you need to make a jump to the right side. A little run-up oh, will make you jump further. Get a running start? Okay, hold L shift and then... What? Hey. Nice. Wait, so you can be See any animal in this game? See thingy over there. Pick it up and bring it to the pressure sensor outlined in yellow. Wait, it's like a companion oh, cube from the Cartel. glass case in the middle. Where are you looking at? Are you 
observing me? Get out of there! You broke it. It's Bye -bye mine. To your next month paycheck. I'll Venmo you. Oh no, is this like a a, a that, dummy, uh, a sucker? Thingy. Just pull it to close the door. Okay. Come on, give it a go. I'm pulling. Okay, I pulled it. And now I have a cube. No, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Wait, I need to carry the sucker. This is my up cutter. Whoa, I looked like a witch on a broom for a second. Now lift this uh, white cube thingy and throw it across the gap. Lift this grabs my wiener. Fuck you. Nerf this. Wait, can you not run while you're carrying shit? Oh, you can. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is this just like a weapon you can use to beat people up? To gently caress them. Whoa, you can do a spin attack. Very epic and very cool. Very epic indeed. No! 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 I'm, I'm stuck. Guys, how do I drop it? you to throw it? What? What do you mean they expect me to throw it? They expect me to throw the game? They don't believe? Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. Okay, I did it. Ooh. Ah, get the fuck off of me! All security guards. Fuck you! Illegal intrusion detected fuck you! In monitoring room. Your sensor. Drag the lizard? Yes, drag him. This is like Hitman. Hide the body. Pound the fucking body! That's Albert Einstein right there. This That's literally Albert, Albert Einstein. Albert? Who's the one next to him? Albert. No, Mouton. Mouton. Isaac Mouton. Who's this? This one. Well, what you waiting for? Come Detective. on, throw some punches. Oh, Let's stop. see what Get you got. Get off of me! I'm trying to admire art. This fella looks just like you. He it does. is Nemo La Tesla. Nemo La Tesla. Who's this? Schrodinger. Aww. This is Nemo La Tesla. This is Nemo La Tesla. Who's the panda? Now, little pup, climb that net over I'm a little there pup and, and I'm doing my room. best. I'm a little pup in a big world. Hold space while grabbing the net to climb onto the platform. Uh, he 
He's not climbing. Uh. Nothing but net. <laughs> swish, swish, baby. It's got like similar like, physics to it. What was that called? The one where you're like a floppy guy? And there's like other floppy guys? Not Fall Guys. It was a recent game. I played it before on stream. No, not Gang Beast. Human Fall Flat. Yeah, yeah. I think Gang Beast is sim similar too, though. Man. I think getting COVID three times gave me See brain damage. And sometimes I sound Just like I'm from Sweden. Attention to all security guards. I'm not saying that people from Sweden have brain damage. I just mean like, you know how some people get brain damage and randomly get like a, a accent? Oh my god! Get off of me! Stop! I'm calling HR! Fuck you! I'm not just for my role as Princess Zelda in the Legend of Zelda movie. I'm strong and independent. No, 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 not the Terminator 6000. We have to be careful with my stamina. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Look out, everybody. Another mad cat. The mad cat is on its way. Faster, faster. I'm running as fast as I can. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah, go away. Go away. Detected. Releasing Terminator 6000. How do I use controller again? What's the controller? Ah, why did it get activated already? Online. Can't even climb. It's not my fault. The character has a mind of its own. Illegal intrusion detected. Releasing okay, that's a lot more intuitive. Let's jump. Roll? Terminator 6000 Wait, what, What's the jump Defense button on controller? What's this about not? Okay, let's try and go. Okay. Fuck you. I fucking hate cats. <laughs> God. Illegal intrusion detected. Releasing this way, this way, this way. Okay, okay, okay. I'm mindful of the stamina bar. Okay, what is the climb button on controller? Defense system now. Tell me now. Tell me now. We're almost to the net. Tell me now. Why? Wait, what the fuck is why on a PlayStation controller? <laughs> it's circle? No, it's triangle! It's triangle! Illegal intrusion detected. <laughs> Releasing Terminator 6000. Terminator 6000 Defense system now online. Are you sure it's square? Hold Y while grabbing the net. Okay, is grab X? I can't... I can't grab the net! Why can't I... You mean be holding on it as you Illegal jump? Intrusion detected. Releasing Terminator RC? Right bumper? Which way is right? Terminator 6000 activated. Defense system now online. Wait, the bumper is the small one, the trigger is the big one, right? <gasps> Wait, I almost got it! I almost got it! Why is that easier on keyboard and not on controller? R2 trigger plus triangle? Illegal intrusion detected. I had it for 6, a second and then it just, it just fucking deleted itself. Terminator 6000 Police system now online. Uh -huh. Cats would be cops. Okay. Okay. <gasps> ah! 
I'm making it! I'm making it! I'm making it! I made it! Now evaluating. What did I get? The overall IQ score is one, three, two. <gasps> okay, little pup. I guess your IQ the is just pup. fine. I'm See that lever over there? Come on, give it a go. See? You guys were talking shit in the chat. I saw you out of my periphery vision. But he said my IQ is 132. That's above average, I think. Then take a leap. Yay! I've got some dog cookies for you. Little bub? Little buppy? Oh, pupper dog! You, you stylish crocodile. Did I download the right game? What the fuck is going on? Get, get off of me! Hub? Oh. Wait, is that an NPC or a real print? Oh! I have to beat him with the shovel. Grab shovel. Grab shovel punch. Grab shovel and... Big lipped alligator moment. <laughs> um, did anyone else see that? <laughs> Hold RT to grab the enemy. I'm gonna throw you into the poisonous gas where you belong.
see all the skins in the locker? That's where I keep my skins too. <gasps> Gotcha mechanic? I don't have enough Nemo box. I need more box. <laughs> I need more box so I can be pink cat. Can I buy the currency like with real money or do I have to actually play the game and get good at it? Because I don't know. I think I'd rather spend money than actually like put effort into anything. Atta. That's a lot of Atta. Carrot. Uni. Lloyd. Barbie. Barbie has a tender heart and muscles of steel. Oh, Max looks serious. <gasps> Tiagra? Bacon. Feliente. More sparky. <gasps> it's the, the dog. Alta. Huskar. Hachi. Garfat. Blue. Oh, moon Moon. <gasps> oh, the greatest dog ever! So they agree. Curtis, Hammer. Oh, I love him. His eyes are on both sides of his head. Levi, <gasps> Terusa. I want to be a bat. Bruce, Bob, Honey and Vane. Hachi says never forget. I'll never leave Hachi, I'll never leave. That's another reason why I don't want to get a dog, because I feel like I'll die before my dog, and my dog will like keep waiting for me to come home and just not really comprehend and realize what happened to me. Or like eat my dead body. Yeah, like in Futurama. by Jurassic Park? Wait, that the video where it's like the dogs in the dinosaur costumes? That says gay sex. Why is that? Am I seeing this right? What the fuck? Wait, it's a bunch of cats. When you when you blow it up, it's a bunch of cats that just somehow spell out gay sex. Those are just cats? No, it spells out G A Y S E X. I don't want to say that too loud. I might get in trouble. Don't be weird. It's just cats? My mind is in the gutter. It literally spells out the word gay sex. It's not just cats. It's clearly... You guys are fucking with me. Wait, no. Oh my god. It's like the fucking like audio illusion where it's like... Is it Green Needle or Brainstorm? But it's with a fucking picture. Now I'm looking at it and it just I just see cats. I can't see the words anymore. <laughs> 